Why? Would you do that? Out of program one? No. Why would you do that? Because then we wouldn't be on anyway. Well, I'm, I'm on program one, and I'm talking to everybody. Hello, everybody. Program one? Program one. Yeah, you take it out of program one, Tyler, and then no one would be able to hear the program. Hey. That would not be smart. I can hear Krista in there jabber walking away. You can? So, everybody, welcome to the after disaster. The Love Line After Disaster. Uh, the Love Line After Disaster is the last episode. And uh, next Sunday, very exciting, will be the first ever After Disaster. Yes. Play the, play the celebration music. No, it's not celebration music. We're not, like, pumped up that we're leaving. Just, uh, that's, that's the way it's going to be. I don't think that's celebrate, uh, celebratory at all. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I have not been interrupted by anyone other than Tyler thus far. And that is because Mr. Mike Carano is uh, running a bit late. We are running live, though, right now. If you're not sitting in your cubicle and it's Friday uh, morning, that means uh, that you're probably listening live. Ow, that hurts so much. Oh, but it sounds very so painful. good. Very, very painful. Why do you only it's like, like loud drops? It's like you're ramming your head through a sheet of glass. We are currently uh, streaming video as well, where you can see uh, my beautiful face, my tired face, at uh, lovelineshow.com, which I'm going to go over there right now. Actually, it's at Facebook and... Uh, but right now it's loveonshow.com, right? Uh, I didn't get a chance to embed it yet. Okay, so never mind. Go, go where? Where do yeah, they go? Yeah, just go to Facebook. Facebook slash After Disaster. Also, it should be mentioned that uh, so if you are listening live right now, which is a very few select of you, but if you th those of you who are listening now, if the date is February 9th, oh my God, that hurt. February 9th, technically February 10th, morning of. You can call because we have Kyle Swart something, and he is screening <laughs> calls. <laughs> Kyle Swart something. One eight hundred um, five. Six. Uh, Wait, hold nothing on. Nothing reduces a man to sadness than like trying to figure out what letters stand for in a phone number. Five, six, eight, e, uh, D, uh, three. D. <laughs> <laughs> it, sh it should be noted that my brain is not working properly tonight. Everybody. We need to get one of those cool like avocados numbers. Dos, 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 dos. I don't dos, want an dos, avocado dos. number. I like avocado on my sub with sandwiches, but I don't want. Remember avocado. Avogadro's number, and people would make avocado jokes in school. One eight hundred. I'm gonna do this properly. One eight hundred five six eight. Three, that's the first one. Five. God, I'm dumb. Four. Six. Yeah. I don't remember what I just said, but that's what you should not. <laughs> Those of you, listen back and write down what Anderson said. Minus the D. There's no D in the phone number. I didn't say D. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank God you're here. He's we're jumping in through the window. <laughs> right, so here's what we're going to talk about Haircut. tonight. I was hoping to get through this. Um, I purposely didn't say haircut because I'm sure that's all the man hears for the first few days after he gets his haircut. But Mike, yes, Mike Catherwood, the Cat, Cat Corona, Carolina has haircut. We're <laughs> Mike talk about, Carolina's here, guys. Here's what. Here's a few of the things we're going to talk about. Hey, tonight. Mike Carolina. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program, Mike. Getting you through Carolina. the night, you. truckers. What's happening? We're going to talk about a uh, new sport called Taser. You, I love that, getting you through the night, truckers. And the, and the interruption begins. We're going to call talk about a new sport called Taser Ball. We're going to talk about a, a terrible discovery uh, found in, uh, in, a, in a storage unit. <laughs> yeah, which no one bid on apparently, but uh, it would have been awesome if they had if that was on the show. But we'll talk about that in a bit. It involves human body parts. Someone bid the dust. Super Bowl. Uh, I'm going to talk about an, an incident that I had with Jillian because we were listening to the Super Bowl in the car while we're driving around because I'm not a man anymore. My balls are deep in that girl's purse, and uh, I'm going to bitch about my my uh, current leasing agent. Can't wait to do that. Her pr her pink purse, already? bro. No, my, in I your balls deep in her pink purse, bro. I found a, Deep in that pink purse. I found a uh, place, but that it, it fell through because it kind of oh, nickel and dime yeah. me at the end. Everything. Mike, I'll, I'll tell you real quick. I uh, had all the information, gave him everything. Uh, his lady was calling everybody. I called all my family members, called anywhere I ever lived, called as my bosses. Reference? Yeah, as re called every single reference that I listed. I didn't know they actually did that. Called everybody. Three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she was calling around. And then I, and then I finally talked to the guy whose decision it is. He's like, yeah, we got three applicants. You're at the top of the list. Um We'd love to have you. However, this was the price. How, uh, now I'm bumping it up in another 150. You in? I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay an extra 150 a month. No. Yeah. So hey, we good by, deal, bro. Extra 150, bro, we for went you. By the house to make sure that you know we weren't absolutely in love with it, and there's plenty of problems with it. I'm just, you yeah. should have said, you know, I got one question for you. Are you are you bulletproof? That's always a good response. Just immediately start to to go to gun violence. I don't know. If you're that's funny because I listen to most of the Super Bowl in the car as well because I went to a party that I do every single year. Mm -hmm. In and I always anticipate leaving. Thanks for bringing me as your date. In Huntington Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, there they're in at the game chart so I can get to was San Diego. Was there white people there? There's a lot of white people. Huntington Beach is so goddamn white bread. Yeah. It's disgusting. I was down there the other day. It is white town. It's totally white, white. Yeah. Bread. 
Hey, and call in with anything you like, guys. Just it, this is the so last. It's nice, right? The last time we're gonna be taking calls for a little while, at least. And uh, yeah, call in with anything you've ever ever had a question. I've done the same thing for almost ten years. Any topics you like? Where I tell myself, leave the minute the game starts. I can get to San Diego by the halftime, and I can see the halftime show. I left at about three minutes till halftime. Still thinking I could make it down to San Diego. Probably doing 85, 90 miles an hour on the toll road. Big football fan. Yeah, um, sure. Big football fan. Didn't watch one minute of the game, but I listened to it in the car. I watched the last three minutes actually. What am I saying? It was nice. Mm -hmm. That was the three Whatever. minutes worth watching. Oh my god! The worst part was the dude who hurt his knee, and then they cut to him running down the sideline, and it just oh, yes. blowing out yeah. again. Yeah, that was awful. As imagine... a man who has a knee that hasn't fixed in two years, it was particularly painful. Can I just point out real quick? This is a typical love uh, after disaster programming because uh, we did a show on Sunday night of the Super Bowl. No, we did not. Never mind. Forget what everything I just said. Well, well, we Forget did everything you know. We did one the night after the Super Bowl. Didn't mention the Super Bowl. And now here it is a week later and we're like nothing but Super Bowl. All Super Bowl all the time. Where's Marcus like, with the Super Bowl updates about NASCAR? Did you read that? Yeah, we, it's a big sponsor on the, oh. on the parent program. Mike is uh, fascinated with Mask, which is a sexual... I'm doing a free ad for Mask because I like them. I met the uh, owner of the company. Did you try it? Nice man. Uh, no, because Jillian will, would refuse it. We're not sexual, <laughs> but it's a sexual. It's a sexual. Maybe flavor. it tastes good, and we could try just have it for dessert. What you do is the girl puts it on her tongue, and then she can swallow any liquid you like. Yeah, I've never had a girl have designed. a problem swallowing anything. Ever? What? You yeah, haven't? I don't know. Really. All right, so back to the super. They normally run to the bathroom uh, and we'll, swallow it there. Listening to it. <laughs> they. Oh, how you go? They. They. They do run to the bathroom? They run to my bathroom, and then I follow them in to make sure they don't leave it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? They're spitting it into your top tank. Your yep. toilet is just the top tank of your toilet. is just All full. Right. The disgusting <laughs> imagery, Tyler. So, you know what? The filthy imagery. I'm moving now. Hey, by the way, can I tell you something? I, I mentioned that my apartment was, was so silent, I was okay. freaked out. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, apparently that's changed because uh, I think the uh, person above there? me put in a fucking bowling alley or something. It's like this fuck. I don't know what the hell we're they're doing every single night. Talk about What's that. What's happening, okay. Rune? Yeah, the Super Bowl. No, no. Go, let's go talk about the bowling alley. Was it Nixon? Super bowling? bowling alley. Let's let's talk about Nixon bowling above you. Nixon had a bowling alley installed in the White House. Yeah, like bowling he bowled stuff. above Mike. Apparently, he's got some old neighbors upstairs bowling. Isn't it weird? The bowling is still fun. Like, it didn't yeah. it seem like it was gone like 10 years ago, like completely dead, and bowling alleys are a ghost town except for crystal meth heads? I think they're still using the popcorn from 10 years ago. I love old popcorn. I seriously do. Like, sometimes you go into, like, an old, like, a convenience store in the Midwest or something when you're on a road trip, and they have that crusty old popcorn that's in there that they made in the morning, mm -hmm. and it's still goddamn good. It is. So good. Super salty. Lots of preservatives. Keeps your tongue fresh. I'm sorry I'm late, by the way. I fell asleep. It's okay. Yeah, you look a little, little tired. You look yeah, a little I fell sleepy. asleep. I got home at like 10.30 and I laid down and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh shit. So I'm we're in the car. We're so in. you live 10 minutes away now. My God. Yeah, five minutes. We'll My God. I, what did I tell you? Right. Did I tell you that now that he lives far away, I mean closer, that he's going to be late now? I, said I do that. recall you uttering this I, to me. I said that and uh, it was true. Hey, Makes by the way, sense. episode 114, uh, what did you just do? I broke things. I break things. Uh, episode 114, broke they, they fixed the wine on this mic. It doesn't go anymore when I crack it open. That so I'm going to be talking, of I'm gonna be talking a lot more. I never noticed that. I'm going to be... Uh, well, I wish you wouldn't. I kind of wish you wouldn't, okay? Mr. Puffed Up in there. He, he, he uh, interviewed some quasi-celebrities this morning. Oh, who you interview? Grammy, so he feels like a... He lit his hair on fire a little bit when he was smoking a cigarette up front with me because he's. That's what I do when smoker. I smoke cigarettes. I light so my hair on fire. He tried, to light, he tried to light the cigarette and his, his hair went to up be a little fair, bit. And it his, was first rea quiet. his first reaction was, Oh my God, I have to be on camera tomorrow! Panicked. Clearly joking you. <laughs> no, you were 100% serious. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd Just you a interview? Very hundo. Who did you interview? Uh, Mel Brooks. Really? Mm hmm. He was at the Grammys? Yeah. Yep. Got a new song. Really? <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a new R&B song. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I interviewed the man that used to beat Michael Jackson. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Really? Allegedly. Um, I met, uh, I father. interviewed Adam Carolla. He called Kevin Smith a douchebag. Yeah. Um, I interviewed. Uh, Debbie Gibson. Uh, wow. Uh, I don't know some other people. I can't remember. Anyone? That's, anyone that's close to your age. Uh, so what happened when you're cruising around listening to the Super Bowl in your car? I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I wasn't breathing heavy because of you guys. I'm trying to get on. I, is anyone watching this video? Can we let Rune go home? And the video is like a, a bust. Yes. I have no idea where it lives on the internet. I don't think it lives anywhere. I think that Facebook, bro. I'm not. I'm at I Facebook. appreciate Rune's time, but it would be uh, more fun if we did it without the video. No, this is the last video we're doing. Possibly. The ever. video is streaming. I know. Is we have thousands it, of people watching right now. Really? Sweet. That's the total. Line. Minus. Are you that to pacify me? Take off 850 from 1,000. So That's not too bad. What is that? 700? <laughs> the. 
Do you care about the Super Bowl? Uh, sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. And like this year, I did not. I didn't have. I hate. I'm so bored with both teams. I don't. Couldn't care less. Yeah, me too. Uh, last time that these two teams played in the Super Bowl was when I got my head bashed in on my way to work, uh, and I won seven hundred dollars that day too. So I knew that I was never going to relive that Super Bowl. So five years ago or something? Like four years ago, I think. So you know, we're doing house stuff and we're, we're busy. It's Sunday. It's one of the few days that we have off. So we're we're running around. We have to come here to do some faxes and stuff and. Uh, Go over there and go to Kinko's, and but I had the car, the the radio on, so at least I was listening to it in the background. Just kind of mm-hmm. curious if anything happened. And uh, so you felt American. Jillian was explaining to me how she's never understood football nor cared about it, and I said, I yeah, okay, I understand. But I'm kind of like listening to her and listening. Comes down to the last play of the game. I don't know if you if you're aware of the last play of the game. Mm-hmm. What happened with the hail mary? Yeah, it's rare that a Super Bowl comes down to the last play of the game. Usually the blow. I thought it was exciting. And the last play of the game um, was very exciting. I was here listening to it in my car, and right as the snap occurs Jillian starts talking about something which I love the girl I want to hear what she has to say but it was the last play of the Super Bowl it was a Hail Mary 80 yards into the end zone yes and I put my hand up like to her face (laughs) a little bit (laughs) not like to talk to the hand just kind of like I put my hand like you know just in the car to let her know that I was kind of listening yeah and she's like are you kidding did you just put your hand up to listen to fucking football and I'm like it's and I'm missing the entire last play of the game and then he, he drops it but I say you don't understand if he caught that ball that would have been the most the biggest play in Super Bowl history, maybe NFL history, if he caught that ball. <laughs> right? So Am I right, Kyle? And, and then the balls. next and next next day I hear everyone talking about it and saying the exact same thing. Like if he caught the ball and she gave me so much shit. She's like, really? In football history. I'm like, yes. Right. Julie, you have no idea what that play, what that what was. I gotta go with there. you on this one completely. I'm not even into football, yeah. but geez, let me that Gronkowski keep your trap dude nearly caught it if you hadn't stopped running. Yeah, keep your Bitches, trap right? shut. That's Bitches. like that's like going to a concert, your favorite band, they're about to play your favorite song. Yeah. And she's like, you know, I have to go to the bathroom. About the, uh, Will you come with me? Ah, oh, you're like, <laughs> you're peeing right here. We're also live streaming at theafterdisaster.com. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. A, oh, really? No, really? Not, so, not yet. Not until well, we are. Okay. I don't Deal know how with this it. All works because we're 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 moving on. But I didn't. Know, we're not moving on until after tonight. Whatever. So go to afterdisaster.com. But uh, I'm also single. I should say now. After this. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, right now I'm not. But t- tomorrow, when she hears this, I probably will be. You know what I mean? So we should. You want to go out and pick up some chicks during that Let's little that brief bitches. window yeah. of opportunity? Where the Greek that little window? window. <laughs> that little, little window we have to cheat. Jillian, when you're single, I'm single. I'm bringing some mask home, and I will forgive you. Oh no! <laughs> you now I'm forgive, definitely you'll bro- forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna mask for forgiveness. Oh! Good one, Tyler. Good one. I love you, lady. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm absolutely joking. But hey. uh, let's go ahead. Can I uh, can I ask you guys Break a question some glass? that <laughs> I'm very serious about? Uh-huh. This is we have to go there, and you have to, or we sh- you should go individually because Super Bowl. It's a it's the kind of place you can't go as a group and make fun of. And I went to a store last night, which could either be the coolest store I've ever been in in my entire life, or else the guy is a psychotic, pathological liar. So um, I went to a friend's parts? birthday party last night in Santa Monica at this wine bar. Lalit, yeah. our friend Lalit, it was her birthday. We need to go see her soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw her last <laughs> you night. You are single. <laughs> <laughs> so we can lay in the coffins. We can fight over her. Um, she asked Seriously, me to, if she asked I'm going to date, and I said I couldn't do it. Um, she asked Let's me to go, go with her to see Bill Burr, and I'm like, I really can't do that. And she goes, you hate comedy, don't you? know what? yep. <laughs> I hate to laugh. So uh, it was at this place called Where's Bill Burr? Where's he playing? Um, Largo. When? Very soon. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm I'll find out. I can't tell you anything more than that. It's hush, hush. We can, maybe I'll see if she wants to do, do a double date. <laughs> With you, me, and her? Yeah. Okay. Menage a date. No, I want to so, <laughs> go down to uh, to, to do the, uh, what is it called, where you sit in the car and there's water and you can't hear anything? Separ- oh, uh, depri- yeah. Deprivation. deprivation tank, yeah. Yeah, Jillian and I want to go do that. I want to try it, too. I actually considered buying one and I've never even tried it. <laughs> now it sounds like you want to do one so that you can separate from Jillian. Mike, let me ask you, why would you want to do that? Why, why would you want to buy one? Because it seemed like it was one? relaxing. Because I know, but would it be also so you could tell people that you have one? Anderson, what, no. if you'd, what if you'd put your... I wouldn't your... tell anybody because be, it's weird. Do you have one? No, it's weird. You might have one. Can you imagine me lugging that thing into my apartment now? What Probably that... holds like 500... During sports when Jillian just starts to talk, you just press a button and you go down in your your, your, <laughs> your sensory deprivation chamber? When I start to talk to spo- about sports? No, when she starts to talk during a sports thing that you're oh. trying to watch. Okay, imagine like, that Gee. Imagine that frustration and that anger that you felt when, she, when that happened. And I didn't I, really. I, it no, wasn't no, a big deal. But I relate it completely. Now, imagine... I wasn't mad. But imagine funny what happens after. across the country thousands of times it, where... I wasn't mad. I was just trying to... Because she still doesn't know like that. the main point of that story, everyone, was that 
it was it was potentially the biggest play in NFL history, and she thought that I was exaggerating. And I was well, not. regardless, everyone, or not. everyone agrees with me, right? Regardless, mm. there's oh. a point where she's got to keep her <laughs> trap shut. Um, like when she's knitting, you don't bug her. The uh, <laughs> or vacuuming cooking. or whatever yeah, she's doing. Right. This could be the most important knitting of all time. So across the country, there's probably <laughs> tens of thousands, if not more, <laughs> men who are so into football, so into the Super Bowl. If uh-huh. that would happen to them, that would have been validation to beat the crap out of their wife. Oh, absolutely. I think there's more domestic. <laughs> Domestic. So lick my butt and oh, suck on my balls. <laughs> There's more domestic my violence of all uh, time. calls on 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 uh, NF Super Bowl Sunday than any other. Greatest part about other. that entire song is at the end when they're naming off things that are American. Yeah, they're like slavery. Mm. And with the last one, books. <laughs> I like the slavery part, and they're all yeah. like, uh. yeah. So uh, so I go to this um, wine bar down there, and on, no one's there yet. On so, the film vault, we uh, I like I'm just gonna completely interrupt him. That's and all right. My thing. We, uh, a long time ago, we did. Uh, Hipster walking, and we asked uh, hipsters, we had Logan go down to like Silver Lake and ask hipsters questions that they should know, but they're hipsters, so they don't. And one of the questions was, uh, what day of the week does Super Bowl Sunday take place on? They're like, uh, oh, Saturday, no. Saturday. That's Friday, not just I a hipster know. thing. That's a dumb person thing. No, but they were purposely doing it. Okay, Did you say so, who's buried in Grant's tomb? Hey, maybe we rename the show The Wine Bar, W-H-I-N-E. Wine. Oh, yeah. I, like I got to start drinking again then. <laughs> we get hammered. Wait, no, but it's. Okay, so we got to change all of our name to uh, something that starts with E, and we'll be the wineries. Because we all winer. <laughs> it's a we're, place. We're all winers. It's a place. And then uh, we'll I call start, Ernest. We'll start making wine, and Errol. then we'll quit for a while, and then we'll go back to our the wine cast because they were back on our old stomping grounds as our feet are oh. switching. Ah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that clip. We should do an episode fun. where we stomp grapes the entire show, and then we sell the wine that we make uh, with our stomping feet. We let people lick our, lick our uh, grapey toes. I like it. Ooh, I like uh, that's going to be gross. I'm going to We'll go to Costco and just you buy know. so many grapes. Gonna You're good at buying in bulk. Flip flops or something. We must. Everyone in this room, anyone who's drank wine at all, must have at one point or another drinking a glass of wine that was tainted with uh, athlete's foot, right? What? No, don't you people think? don't actually do that. Yeah, they do. Not anymore, they don't. They do. Oh, no, you're right. They do. They yes, do. they do. Like yeah. artisan wines, not like yeah. two buck chuck, like people like me drink. No, they have big metal feet that squish that. What you, if they did? What if you had to pay more for the wine that they don't step on? Like, uh, you don't want the, f- yeah. the footy wine? The, the foot the foot odor probably has some oh, no. of the taste. I got that barefoot you, wine brand. You know, if you dip wine. your balls in wine, I bet it's even better. The uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, really expensive wine, they're like, this is actually made with uh, some infected yep. feet. <laughs> this, this, the guy who stepped on this wine was, was a midget. You the uh, athlete's certain... foot metabolizes the enzymes and creates more alcohol per volume. I don't volume. know why they're nerds <laughs> making wine. <laughs> the, uh, seems like a dude with a goatee. Okay, so there's a store. Now, I know ne- you... You've probably driven by it. Uh-huh. There's a gigantic stegosaurus head in the window. Yes. Have you driven by that place? It's, it's uh, Jurassic. Have technology. you gone in there? No, no, no. Not it's not that. It's, it's not Jurassic. That. It's called. It's got like. A, what's it's a the mineral name? store that sells crystals. Yeah, it's on the corner of like Fourth and. Uh, it's Broadway Montana or something. Broadway and Lincoln, I think. Crystal, what does like she look like? Okay, so right. I had some time to kill and I cruised in there. What's the name of it though? It's got some uh, paleotonic or something. I don't know, but I've got the card in my car. I should have brought it in. He wants to do an ad for a so show. So I got uh, no. Hear me out. He doesn't out. even know the name of the. Hear me out. The store. We've been trying to hear you out for about fifteen minutes. So I start talking to the dude that owns it, and he's he's odd. Interesting though, he knows everything about everything in the store. And then I said, uh, "What's your favorite thing in here?" And he goes, "I like every single thing that's in here." That was the starter <laughs> of the weird one. <laughs> and he goes, "I wouldn't be doing this for sixteen years if I didn't like everything in here." Uh-huh. And the stuff is very expensive. Was he defensive? Did he say it with that tone? A little bit. A little bit. This is why I go with it's either the the, the most amazing store I've ever been in, or the guy is psychotic Wait, and he's a pathological liar. This isn't the guy that Barry takes all his shit to on Storage Wars, is it? I don't know. I doubt it. This guy's got you know dark the hair, kind of dressed I've like never, a hippie. It's not Santa Monica. This I've guy's never. wearing all black and he's got like parted long hair. So he does goes, he have a sense of humor at all? Do you think? No, no. Good. But he might. I don't. I I told him, only talked to him for ten minutes. So he's got like, uh, what's that stuff in Jurassic Park that they found the uh, mosquitoes Dinosaurs. in? Like the, amber. And he's got amber with mosquitoes in it. And stuff. What does all, she look like? You know, Tyler? this is three million years old. This is six. It's all sold by the gram. Um, there's all these very very it's interesting rocks gram? and crystals. Gramber. Everything in there is sold by the gram. And then he's got actual. Okay, here's where it got weird. Actual dinosaur skeletons. Yeah. Uh, and I said, how much is the uh, Stegosaurus? Uh, that's priceless, and that's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I get an offer on that every single day. And I, and, I, and I started to go like, you know, I've never even seen that in a museum. And he goes, this, there's more stuff in here than any museum in the world. That was the other one. That's not true, now, I think. No, no more, more rare stuff. More but privately small, right? owned. Yes, but he's got now. There's rarer he stuff in the shop. Real. He swears it's real. 
He's got a miniature Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton oh. complete. Was it a midget Tyrannosaurus? Ninety-five thousand dollars. And he goes, "There's ne- He goes, "There's not a complete miniature uh, baby Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton in any museum." He goes, "This is the only one I've ever seen." The he's baby got, or a mini baby? He's got a mini Velociraptor uh, skeleton. That one's sixty-five thousand dollars. But the the stuff in there is staggeringly beautiful. I have a theory and fantastic. Now i I want I want somebody who really knows. I have a theory. If that stuff's real or not, and why does he keep a Stegosaurus skull in the window where anyone can kick the window down and steal it? That's priceless. I have a, I have a theory. Yeah, that place is going to be torched soon, and he just made some outrageous insurance claims, and he's kind of uh, spreading, spreading the word to anyone really? that walks in. Like I have so many expensive things in here, and everything is priceless, and uh, more than any museum. And then yeah. when the place burns in like a week or two, that place is going to get torched. And then he'll say, "Ask people, let's not say that. Ask my Corona." So I uh, the whole night last night I was laying in bed. Besides thinking about what let's we, not say that. I was uh, I was thinking about um, what if I purchased that like sixty five thousand dollar Velociraptor skeleton? And one of my friends came over. And I'm like, "Whoa, be careful around that." And they're like, eh, eh, "F you," and pushes it off. It's kind of a weird thought to have. I know, but somebody would f with it, thinking I'm I was joking. Right? About why they, do I have they all this would bullshit? Never and then I have a have Velociraptor kind of... skeleton. But you really need to go in that store and just ask a few questions because it's it's riveting. It's fascinating. This guy I sounds like a coke God. addict. Isn't that the kind of thing like coke no. dudes have? Dinosaur I, skeletons? I have a feeling. I think the guy is probably telling the truth, but it just doesn't make sense that he doesn't have bars on the windows and stuff. And it's kind of a kind of a shifty neighborhood. Not really. It's not but shifty at all. It's it's like really? the middle of Santa Monica, like the the business part of it. And it's maybe right I just off think the street promenade. And it's always you know uh, what's popular. freaking me out are those Denzel Washington movie ads on every single bus and every single billboard. No one is safe. Every time I read that, I'm like, oh god. Are you scared? Are yeah. You scared? Yeah, it's pointing out that we're not safe ever. No matter where you're at, you're not safe. Can I point out that I don't like Vimeo's? Um, I don't like how slow they are. I don't like how I can't I can't find a video that I'm looking for. It's very it's a, but a, very, on Vimeo you can find Zivona talking about the chickens. It's very difficult to search on Vimeo, and uh, very difficult. Hey, can I tell you something that I, I I I was going for my walk this morning and I cruised by a place that cut your hair and I bolted in there to uh, get a haircut. They cut my hair. Yeah, and the girl that cut my hair, attractive young girl. From Romania. Tyler, you're about 10 minutes. And out of nowhere, <laughs> she was fucking me. Out of nowhere, hey, she volunteers to me that uh, I'm not a, I'm not afraid of a little blood. And I was like, oh, what, God, she, what's like, happening? Cut you? She was from that's Transylvania? What I, thought. I was like, did you cut me or something? I, I mean, that's what I thought in my head, but I didn't But she said she, you were sitting there getting trimmed yeah, up. Yeah, she goes, I'm not that's, afraid that's of a little blood. Says. Weird. Like five minutes earlier, I might have asked her if she ever hey, guys, cut herself just, with her scissors. We just had a line drop off. Give us a call. Um, 1-800- Ooh. Five, six. Hey. That's nine. what radio DJs no, in the five, 70s said what they were doing coke. One eight hundred five six eight <laughs> three five four. You're like a fourth six. grader doing long divisions. One eight hundred. We're fired. <laughs> hey, speaking of haircuts, you got you guys want to do something tad right now? I'd prefer. Not. What's that mean? There's this clip online. It's a it's a binaural 3D recording. Yeah. So it, it it's it's recorded as if it was through human ears. And it sounds like someone's walking around and like cutting your head. They put like a bag over your head and they do all this stuff. It's it's really trippy. And you're gonna lay tad. it on us. Are these headphones in stereo? Yes, these headphones are in stereo. All right, let's do it. I'll cue it up in a little bit. Okay. It'll just it'll just happen while you guys are talking. Yeah. Uh, so I can freak out. Yep. Thinking that someone's cutting my head off. Do you have to know they're gonna cut your head off for it to be effective? I'm not cutting your head off. They're giving you a haircut. Oh, I thought you <laughs> thought it was like some weird torture thing. I thought it was like waterboarding or something what are we doing right now i, I tuned out because i'm doing business i'm doing work over here i'm doing emails uh Dad. i don't know if i i don't know if i mentioned this on last week's show but uh i lived in orange county for seven and a half years and commuted to la twice a week sometimes four times a week sometimes five times a week didn't phase me one single bit now when i'm in la and i have to go to orange county like i did today it's dreadful and uh, i have a knot in my stomach the entire time and i plan it like a road trip now i'm like get some water better get a podcast to listen to better get something and it's uh, absolutely exhausting and dreadful. But at least I got to hit Disneyland today for the first time in a month, and that was nice. Good. That's great. And I had to pee when I was driving by my old house, and I seriously considered, since I still have the key, going in there to pee. Oh, no. someone moving? This? Someone, someone lives Doesn't there, look no? like it, but I didn't do it because I don't want to get arrested for trespassing. Should have done it. I went to that <clears throat> Electronica thing at, at uh, Disney uh, California Adventure for the first time. Oh, yeah? Was it good? It's not bad, actually. It's loud. It's good people watching. Yeah, it's interesting. I it's like, like little like innocent kids doing like awesome hilarious dance yeah. moves next to like 
uh, MDMA like tripping like yeah. Andersons from the '90s going crazy. Dudes with like the the with the gloves. It fired up as the middle uh, of an old lady pushing in a guy through a, with a wheelchair through the middle of it, and it was just this. It, it turned into this rave with just lights, and it was black, and it was those lasers and stuff. And it is worth like, seeing. There's this guy who comes out and does this like laser dance. Mm-hmm. Like it looks like he's pulling apart the lasers. The laser dance. It's awesome. No, L L L L A A A A Z Z Z Z E E or S. See my. See, Anderson, you should really stop working during What's the show. What's the proper way to spell laser happens. with a Z or with an S? I'm back. I, I apologize. Is one English? Laser's way cooler with an, a Z. I don't care if that's the With an S, it sounds, more fi- it sounds more uh, laser. scientific. Um, See, so yeah, actually, the Z was was brought in in the, the mid-80s oh. in science fiction. Okay. I am back. Uh, really? Here's some of the calls we're going to talk to. Uh, we're going to talk to... Oh, Hashmere's on the phone. He's a long, long-time uh, Loveline listener and uh, emailer and supporter of, of all sorts of things. So I'm, I'm excited to talk Fuck to Hashmere. Him. Wants to talk about. Yeah. He's got a website. Get someone who doesn't support us. Uh, Carissa wants to talk about my teeth. That's going to be uh, yeah. probably upsetting. <laughs> um, I've been worried about my teeth lately. Marcus is going to talk to us about the Super Bowl. Dun 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 dun. He is our sports guy. Uh, you going to explain if Carano is staying or going? Uh, yeah, he's not going anywhere. Tim, I can answer you right now. You're not going anywhere. Mike, talk to Tim and tell him that you're going to. Hey play. Tim, what's happening? So you're staying. That's good news. Well, that's what Anderson says. Oh, here's okay. what Mike. Here's what Mike. Mike's doing, and it's kind of. It's ugly, but he's he's saying that he's going to leave, so that everyone will say no. No, I'm not. I I never said I was going to leave. Kind of did. Well, there was talk about it. It sounded like I don't know who started that rumor because I I I didn't say that. Yes. Well, Uh, it was in the trades, bro. When I talked about not doing the show, I talked about it with you personally. I didn't bring it up on the air. Negative. Personal. Kyle, pipe down. Tim, can you tell me uh, if you've heard it on the show from me or from Mike? Yeah, from. From Mike and also yeah. Anderson also did, but you yeah. definitely. Said I don't it on remember the show. saying it on the you show. I thought did. I thought I just brought it up to you. I didn't think I said it. That's on That's one show. thing that sucks about not drinking anymore is you can't you can't say well maybe I was drunk I don't remember. Well, I found guilty. As you know what I mean? Hold it. I, I was can still drunk. say I was maybe on cocaine. Oh, Tim was drunk. Okay, no, Mike's uh, Mike's not going anywhere. Tim. Well, that's excellent news. Good to hear. Yeah. All right, Tim. Thanks for calling, man. Hey, thanks for answering. Bye bye. Bye bye. Financially, I'm not going anywhere. That's what he means. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna stay at the same level. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm having one of those moments where I can't remember what it's going to be. I took a job. To, uh, I tentative, tentatively took another traveling job, and I'm dreading it. What is it going to be? Going to oh, Fresno? God damn. Some, Fresno they called me and asked me if I would go to fly to Boston and shoot 10 comedian Comedy Central specials. They're going to do it over four nights. And I was like, All right, Mike, I can't you know really what? do I, it. Well, let's not talk about it, because it's just depressing. It's, it's upsetting, especially it's depressing with so many people too. that are like broke and looking for work. I know, I know, you're I know. Going, I, I, know I got offered I know. a bunch of money, and it's really upsetting. No, that, that's the problem. Is I, That's what I was trying to deal with today. I was like, you know. Okay, uh, stop me if you've already heard this one, but speaking of you wanting to go buy your old house, because mm-hmm. you still have the key, a little story about my crazy dad uh, from years ago. Uh, Tyler, to stop me if you've heard this one, all right? But uh, we used to have a physically a house. stop you or just it's just yeah tackle, bring it up. tackle me put your okay. foot in my mouth okay. if you need to uh, we used to uh, we moved <laughs> if you need to and we we went to a we went to a new place <laughs> but we were trying to uh, we well, we sold the old house but uh, my dad used to drive by because like but I don't know what's happening in the background I apologize for all this goddamn noise it's like there's another show bleeding in Tyler doesn't seem to care at all. That he's just putting another show on. <laughs> I have like, it in queue. Why can you hear it? It was like a Bigfoot was playing pool. I don't know. I don't know, but I hear it. Oh, sorry. I'm sure everyone else does, too. <laughs> okay, your haircut so is your dad, Was he reminiscing? So, uh, my dad would drive by our old house, like, weeks after we moved out, because it was kind of on his way to work, and he let us know one night <laughs> at dinner that he was stopping, not only going by the house, but he was stopping and going in the backyard and watering the plants, and particularly these two trees that he had planted, like, six months before we moved. He was watering these trees because he thought that the, the current owners of the house weren't taking care of it and weren't watering the trees. He was going to the backyard. I, I think that's sort of sad, but I can completely relate to it. And right before that, he was talking about a movie idea he had, and he was pitching me on it. And he was saying, there's a movie, and it's gonna be called, it should be called Genius. And, uh, and then when he brought up that story, my mom was like, that's a great movie idea right there about the watering the plants, but it wouldn't be called Genius. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> One of the funniest things my mom ever said. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of sad. I wonder if he still does it. I don't know. <laughs> secretly. Uh, you secretly bring the dogs over to your old apartment and start walking them every morning? Like, you do the elevator routine and come back down? I, I'm going to miss that so much. Thank yeah. God I have that video. Uh, new Film Vault Up 2, we did uh, top five <coughs> uh, directors we've broken up with. We used to be in love with, and now we, uh, we, Give no, me longer, one. we no longer like them. Um, Neil DeBute, for me, was one. What did he do? He did In the Company of Men, and then he did Your Friends and Neighbors, and he did Nurse Betty. 
And then he did uh, Wicker Man. Oh no, not the bees! I saw a Wicker movie Man. I think you might really enjoy Ever that I, I really liked called uh, The Trip. Is it did you see it? No. No, no, no. I thought it was great. What was it about? It's um, it's that English actor Steve. Uh, Jobs is dead. It's the guy that was in um, Hamlet too. I forgot his name. I don't know. <laughs> it's great. It's but great. him and his friend go on a on a on a on a tour of restaurants for an article for a magazine that's legitimate, but they shoot a real movie around them going Coogan. on a tour. Coogan, and it's sort of poignant. The end is a little bit phony, but the movie is sort of a documentary. It's all true, except for, you know, they, they have it up for the camera, but it, it was laugh out loud funny many, many times, mm -hmm. and it was interesting, and it also will make you starving, watching them eat this at these five-star restaurants and have this fantastic, these fantastic six, seven, and eight-course meals of unusual stuff. A lot of it was kind of gross in a weird way, like eating pigeon and stuff like that, but uh, very, very nice restaurants in this beautiful, okay. stunningly beautiful countryside with beautiful photography. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a it's a great movie. It's on Netflix. Watch it instantly right now. It's called right. The Trip. Hashmir. <coughs> Hello. What's, What's up? Buddy? Have you uh, have you seen The Trip? This movie that Mike's talking about. I have not. Can no you watch it on fast forward and calls back in like an hour? Yeah. Could you do that? Okay, we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the website suggestion you got? Oh, uh, I was gonna say that you should have Tyler put on like a message board on there. Oh, so people can talk what, shit. What? So you guys can talk to each other and like like build a fan base like that yeah. would like help our Tyler's show. Tyler's kind of new to the internet, so. Um, I totally agree, though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Facebook page. It's like... Yeah, it's impossible to keep a conversation going. Girlfriend reading everything I'm saying on there. That sounds like it's spot on for what we are. Hey, Hashmer, good. have I talked to you before? Because I mean, I've seen your name for years and years, and you've always been oh, a great Yeah, sport. I used to post on the uh, Love Line, uh, what's it called? Love Line Companion? Uh-huh. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Day. Yeah, we was... talked about like, dead candies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. What's up, Hashmer? During the show or uh, after the show? During the show, I was like uh, the Anderson. Anderson would have us do like his homework for Adam Carolla back in the day. How so? I don't remember. You'd go on there and you'd post like. Uh, oh yeah, like, like I need a clip. When did it happen? Yeah, like bits and stuff. Is that your new video? Yeah. yeah that's us. Uh, well, thanks, Hashmir, and uh, uh, I, wait, I, I, I. have one more thing. Yeah. Um, I was at No Effects the other day, and. Uh, that was Fat like, Mike doing? Like a, what's that? That was Fat Mike doing. Still fat. <laughs> okay. He's a singer from uh, Texas. Yeah, there's like a woman there, like a Muslim woman in full burqa. Oh, she's just a hipster. That's what the Yeah, she wasn't a real Muslim. It was pretty sweet. That would be sweet though. If if uh, if I if I started wearing that. <laughs> I think I want to. I think I might try it. You know what's though. weird is you'd probably be safe because people will be apprehensive to beat you up. Thanks, yeah, Hashmir. What's that? Uh, no was problem. she in the pit at all? Uh she was up in the front. Like she they took her up on stage because uh Fat Mike was like talking smack about religion the whole day and like talking shit about Muslims. It was kind of funny. He played probably the whole her, day. He probably put her in there. He probably planted her there. <laughs> Wait, could you see her eyes? Uh, yeah, it was like the full like face covering, but it was like full black dress. How do you know she wasn't a belly dancer? Maybe she's just a belly dancer. Maybe she had uh, she was breaking out or something. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I could see a chick being that crazy. Yeah. Where she's like breaking out, and then she just she discovered that if she if she still wanted to go out, she could just wear a burqa and get away with it. I kind of love that idea. I love that idea a lot. You know what? There's not even that many Muslims in the world. It's it's, mis it's for, misleading. It's just a, a lot. Of what would you wear as a guy? Like a clan outfit? <laughs> wow. That's what I was talking about with my mouth and how it's like going downward, and there's like no glasses. Like I got glasses to hide my wrinkles in my face, like sunglasses. That's what, you know on my. You want eyes. mouth glasses? Don't look like you have there's any no mouth glasses. Yeah, because my, my mouth is going down I right here because I'm getting old. Don't say glass. So we talked we talked about uh, growing a beard. Hashmir, thank you, ma'am. No problem. Who'd you talk about it with? Uh, you guys, and it was about three weeks oh. ago. Thanks for listening. The uh, I was thinking about that girl, that story you were talking about, about your friend the beard is that uh, won't laugh because she doesn't want smile lines. <laughs> That's, That's, serious, right? That's the worst. That's horrible. Which call dropped off there, uh, Kyle? I must know. All right, we're going to talk to Carissa now about... Uh, Haircut's the, ready when you guys want one. Hey, Carissa, what's up? Hey. All right. Everyone listening, down. get your headphones ready. All right, settle down, Tom. <laughs> get your headphones. Hey, settle down. Guys, get, you get, your, head, get your headphones. Mel Gibson today. Doesn't guys, get, your get, to, get to interrupt all the time. <laughs> Mel Gibson, what? You yeah. make a good crazy guy. <laughs> hey, Carissa, what's up? I, I'm, I'm playing Spider Monkey. You're playing Spider Monkey. What is that? That's like code. Why are you doing that when you're when you're listening to the show? Is that code for focus? masturbation? Is that code for masturbation? Oh, Every no. Every say has Pass meaning. Level five, so... Good oh, job, baby. Level I'm six, Spider Monkey. Level six is really hard. The the the, the boss is a, a very angry gorilla. Yep. Yeah. 
and he gives you the business. I don't know what you're talking about, and uh, Hold money on, into video games. I heard, I think Bill she Burr was talking like about, about it. To suck the pipe. That chimps are such little dicks that, like, when they're eating in the wild, like they'll catch like monkeys, like spider monkeys. That's what they eat, and they hold them down with their feet, and they just rip their limbs off while they're still alive and eat them. And that just proves what dicks chimps are. It's like most animals in the wild, before they kill, eat their prey, they'll kill them. They'll like choke them out, or they'll chimps like it fresh. But oh, chimps just let they hold them down. They look around. It's these. It's not. It's not spider monkeys, but it's these weird small monkeys. They're cute too. It's, it's awful. It they they hunt them. They actually like they circle around them and like they send some guys up the trees to chase them out, and then the other one they jump out, and then the other monkeys are waiting for them around, and they like that grab them. I got to keep, keep them alive while they're ripping them limb from limb. Yeah, I, I read about like, it. In my um, I had to watch the video in my anthropology class with with Mr. Milne, Mr. fabulous Mr. Mr. Milne. He was like Tim Gunn. He was awesome. I find uh, nature to be very disturbing and upsetting. <laughs> I, that's why I try to avoid it at all costs. All right, so mm-hmm. Carissa, take the, uh, speaking of nature, what, what are you talking about teeth for? Oh, um, I heard on one of the podcasts that you brush your teeth with baking soda, but, you know, that can wear your enamel pretty bad. I'm oh, sorry, you don't do that? No, like, I do it once a week, you know, to keep my teeth white. But Yeah, I do it every day because my, my dentist oh. t- told me to do that. Is it a racket? Yeah. They're, just, they're hoping that they get to put on some new enamel for thousands of dollars down the road? They can yeah. put on new, new na- enamel? I'm sure they can do um, anything. Well, don't use... Toothpaste. Are you a dental assistant? Yeah. Uh, Besides I'm a just cheer no me upper. Alternative medicine. Oh. So yeah. do you do you like hydrogen peroxide being like thrown into your veins as well? What? No. Because they do that. A lot of people like alternative medicine. It, like, I think she just made it to level six. On I, I just, monkey, no. by the way. She's that not paying attention. Keeps keep stinging me on level five. All right, we're gonna uh, put you uh, put you on. Wait, Thank tell you us for, another alternative medicine really wait. quick, like an Anderson tip. Yeah, give me something for. Uh, I don't know. Do I sound familiar? Yes, I've heard your why. cheery voice before. I remember <laughs> we we talking about how you uh, depressed all of us and you, there's something wrong. You no, were sad. You sounded I was sad. The, um, anxious caller a few weeks ago, and I was the one you thought was thought was on drugs last week. Oh, okay. mm, no, yeah. that's Marcus that yeah, he thinks is on drugs. Totally ruining the show with that. Carissa, like we, Carissa we love you. Don't, don't. Did you guys just hear what she said? Yeah, she said she's young. She's like, oh, yeah, guys, well, whatever, at least I'm young. With <laughs> meaning, I don't know what she meant by that. You guys make me feel young when I'm watching you guys. How old <laughs> are you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was saying, like, well, Mike should like me at least. I thought that's what she All was right, saying. All right, I like you now. No, Carissa's I, awesome. I, How I old like the um, videos he makes. Thank you. Five minutes, that is. Hey, Carissa, uh, It's actually you? proper to say the videos he made. <laughs> what, you don't like You don't like my latest video, The Talk? Available now on Vimeo if you can have eight hours to search for it. <laughs> Why don't you post another link? You should do that like uh, every couple of days for like a week or so. I don't. Po- I haven't posted the link. Yeah, Carissa, why aren't you posting the link? Do you, do you video? enjoy my, uh, my 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 one about teeth? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? No. I appreciate your tip, though. I will stop doing that. Just put your teeth in the freezer. I'm not gonna stop either. Stop. I've never done it, but I'll just start tonight. Should we talk to Marcus about a little Super Bowl action here? Sure. Marcus, what up? That last caller sounded like Lucy from the Boardwalk Empire. Oh, she kind of did, huh? The one that's always drug addled? Yeah. Carissa, no, we're not making fun. Not making no, fun. no, it's a compliment. Is it Carissa or Carissa? We got to know. Lucy. She's gone. <laughs> so I don't understand. Monkey. She's playing a game where the spider monkeys uh, are killing smaller monkeys? Mm-hmm. Or is that just uh, was <laughs> no. that just a tie-in? No, that segued nature? into nature talk for a okay. second. That's a rude video game. What she's doing. So Marcus, <laughs> talk to us. Yeah, you know... The, on Sunday, one thing that I came away taking away from it was, you know, sports. That's why a lot of people love sports. I mean, obviously, especially the Super Bowl. But, you know, when the chips are down, when chips. You know, <laughs> when the chips are down and, you know, I don't I'm start saying that when the chips are down, <laughs> whether I'm rooting for you or not, like, you know, if you, once you get down, can you come back up? And, uh, you know, of course, I'm talking about Manchester United oh, yeah. coming back <laughs> against Chelsea three goals down to by <laughs> Wayne Rooney and some guy named Javier Hernandez. It was impressive. It, very, it was impressive. I did not it, see it that scorpion cut and, coming. And, you know, the will to compete. I love that. Marcus, what would you do if some lady tried to interrupt your, your Manchester United time? Would you give her the hand? I'd give her the business. Yeah, there it yeah. is. All right, now, have you, ter- have you heard of Ultimate Taser Ball? No, it sounds dangerous. <laughs> yep. When, when you combine the words ultimate taser and balls. A listener sent me a link to a video of ultimate taser ball, which I thought was fake at first, but uh, it is it is real. It's By the a, way, the ultimate league. is totally unneeded. Unnecessary. Completely. Explain it. Superfluous. Explain it. Superfluous. Here it is. Four guys on each team. Four versus four. 
Uh, there's big goals. It's pretty much set up like a soccer, uh, like a mini indoor arena soccer uh, match. This mm-hmm. has nothing to do with porn. Four on four guys. Bro. Tyler, <laughs> stop it. It's like our soundtrack. <laughs> and there's a giant ball. Like, uh, it looks like a giant soccer ball. And two goalies. No, I don't know if there is a goalie. But each guy, here's the kick. Each guy has a taser. And they tase the fuck out of each other. It's not a shooting taser, though. It's a close-up taser. No, it's taser. a close-up, the one that, that girl's holding their purse. Okay. Uh, the ref should have right. a shooting one. When you get in trouble, he oh, shoots no. you in the uh, face. Instead of, instead of throwing like a, a flag. flag. Instead but of a if you flag. can dodge it, you get away with the penalty. Yeah. And they we didn't talk electric, to the commissioner this damn league. But the perimeter of the field should be an electric fence, too. And if it hits your face, the other team gets a penalty. And you should also <laughs> not be allowed to wear pants or underwear. Oh, so if it hits your face, the other team gets a penalty? So if you really No, they have need... Oppo Cup. You wear full clothes, but you have to have your balls sticking out. Instead ooh, of being protected, ooh. <laughs> guys just come up behind and do the. <laughs> or you could just have your friends shock your balls for a sexual pleasure. But it would be great, like if you got what? hit in the face by the uh, the ref and the other team gets the penalty instead. Like you're for the team, you would you'd take it in the face. You would, yeah, try and angle dude, your body dude, so you just take, take it in the, the ball the team, in, the, in the eyeball. So did you? This. Don't tell rub me what, it. Tell me what don't happens. Like, how many Here's the get problem. Tasered? Here's the problem with it. Uh, it's not marketed uh, appropriately, I don't think, because like their their jerseys uh, light up. I'll, I'll bring up the video in a second. We'll put a link on the site. Now, maybe. those tasers yeah. only hold so much energy. So but, how And many... they obviously turn them down. Tyler's like just above 9 volt, but I'm sure it's not that low. Yeah. But, I mean, they're not they're Yeah, not convulsing they, they make you when stop they, in place and you have, to put your tongue, you have to put your tongue on it. That's how you get zapped. I, uh, have you guys ever been tasered? Anyone here? Kyle? <coughs> Rune? No one? Nope. I haven't either. I bet Rune has. He's just saying no. I, I can see Rune doing it like sexually. I would like to see somebody get tasered. I could see Rune do it. I would like to see it too. <laughs> the Back there when no one's looking. I've been uh I've been pondering the taser purchase for years. I'm sure. Because it would be safer than carrying a gun like I do now. I heard a story um, about a cop killing a guy in a pool with a taser. That's what I heard. Really? Yeah. Guy was in the pool true. and he's like, get out of the pool or else it's gonna tase you. And he's just stuck him. in the water. Yeah, like he's in, stuck like in the water and moving and be like <laughs> And it came from a, conf- a confirmed, reliable source. I, I'm not going to name it because... Electricity is... is An is unnamed so source confirmed uh, that there was a man tased in a pool. Electricity I, appears to be so dangerous, but you know what's even more dangerous is fire. Because if you could carry like a little mini flamethrower, that, that's the <laughs> ultimate, right? And I don't, I'm not talking about a lighter. Something that would shoot like a 10-foot flame. Mm-hmm. Like you're cruising down the street and somebody says something to you and you're like, what's that? You know how bad you feel if you push someone into a pool and they've got their phone in their pocket and you're like, oh, yeah. that sucks. Oh, Imagine here's three hundred dollars. W- yeah, they got the taser feel. in their pocket, <laughs> and you kill that would person and everyone else in the pool. How does that work? No, it's, no, it's it probably wouldn't do problem. anything. I'm sure it's yeah. not just buzzing maybe, the entire time. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe maybe he's like a crazy guy. He lives with he lives uh, without the safety on. He's Cops just a little the entire time. So here's the problem with ultimate uh, taser ball. Is it one ultimate, ultimate the name. surrender.com. Much like uh, Tyler said, ultimate surrender.com. Yeah. I don't know what's going on? What what happened? That sounds like the sexual kind. That's not the one we're talking. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Mark? Marcus is promoting his new site. <laughs> so their their jerseys like have like neon on them and they light up like it's supposed to be future. It's actually that's what the tagline is. It's yeah. the, fu- the the future sport. And then like the the dudes like are all rollerball. Like, Remember that like, movie? They're like male versions of roller derby. Like they have like mohawks and like bad. They look like Ultimate Fighting douches mm-hmm. kind of. But like the guys that couldn't get into it. And there's yeah. four teams. And they don't really know how to fight because they that's why they use a taser like <laughs> a little taser like a little pussy. There's only like four teams right now. But uh, what's the what's the name? Of it? The LA. There's the LA it's, it's Night Lights, it's which is pretty sweet. I'm, in, I'm into the LA yeah, Night Lights. I gotta say that's all right. We uh, should go there's see them play. the Toronto Terror. I think it's a travel from true. Toronto all the way to LA for a game. Yeah. Then there's the that's Philly. Ex- uh, expensive. The Philly Shock Babies. Yeah. That's stupid. Come on. And then there's the San Diego Spartans. There's only two San teams Diego? that are close. Uh, you yeah. know what? We got to go to this game. Marcus, you can rep the San Diego team, and we'll rep the LA team, and we'll like cuss at each other and throw beer, and then we'll do the Brian Stowe incident. No. The uh, remember that movie Rollerball? Yes. My balls are too precious. I'll commentate or something. Where it was a very <laughs> dangerous sport, and it was like roller derby, but it you were like punch each other, and you had climb. motorcycles, and and you would ha- you had spikes on your gloves, and you would punch the other guys, and people died, the and Philly. people would just go berserk and cheer like when somebody got killed. <laughs> Why in the future are people like awful? Like what just what happens? Yeah, everyone loses all humanity <laughs> in the future. Not in the not too. We have so much technology, we don't give a fuck about anything. It reverts back to Gladiator days. Apparently. Yeah, so it's the Toronto. Like terror. right now, we're in a, a we're in a moment of calm. <laughs> hey, real quick, I remember, I remember a couple episodes ago when Mike was like, um, uh, like beautiful women get away with whatever they want, <laughs> and he's so right because so I'm in this I'm taking this humanities class. And uh, we only meet once a week, but every and every class I've ever been in, especially in college, like within five minutes, you can always tell who the chatterbox is, who's going to be the person that's going to 
um, try to get the attention to and, and talk every five minutes, and it's really awful and it's really annoying. How do you like the show? <laughs> yeah, that's normally me, by the way. I was well, thinking I it's normally me. That's the problem <laughs> with the show. <laughs> the chatterboxes cancel out the one chatterbox. All three of us are the, the chatterboxes trying to do a, a show together. But um, oh, and so and so I go in there, and um, uh, I'm I'm a little late, and so I sit next to this girl. Uh, who in, in the previous weeks I know she talks a lot and, it, and her voice is kind of annoying. Speaking of uh, but I never, did you get in trouble for being late, by the way? Like, and so um, I, did you I wait? Did you get in her. trouble for being late? What are you saying? It's college. I'm saying black guys get away <laughs> with a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, it's kind of true. And so uh, kind of true. <laughs> I thought you were saying that's why he was late. Mike, that's what uh, I thought you were I thought you were. I actually thought you were going to say this. This really attractive girl is always late, and the teacher just blows it off because she's hot. No, no, no. So I, she, so she talks a lot. I don't know what she looks like. So then she, uh, her name Krista. She starts. She phone screener for Loveland. And uh, you know what you were wrong about when you started this conversation? Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like what hypocrites we are? By the way, I'm at the end. I'm I got a twenty-minute story minutes. about my taser dream. Go. And so <laughs> I'm, I'm almost at the end. And so anyway, and so she talks, and I look at her, and she's beautiful and i go you know what it's okay talk it up yeah ah oh, you're right and talk, I'm, I, I'm talk telling it you. up and i have absolutely no problem for talking every five minutes marcus anybody else i uh, swear to god this is true <laughs> then the person above me is normally silent the last couple of days they've been ungodly loud and i just assume they're moving out or something or just purchased a bunch of new furniture mm-hmm. and the way i come calm myself down is i go it's a girl I swear to God, I did it tonight. I'm like, that girl is just cruising around. She's got a lot of tension in her life. She's got to live up to this hype. Well, not just any women's girl, magazine right? hype, and she's woman. got a difficult life to live. Marcus, you need you should stand up and like clap after the next time that she yep. talks, or you like bow. give her like a give her like a hear here in the background. Give her that like no, gentlemanly I'm bow. I might tell her though, because I don't I don't really care. I might I'll just like you know when I first came in here, I thought you'd be so annoying, but you know you're madly attractive. So yep. it's okay. There it madly is. Attractive. There it is. And some Get guys, it, Marcus. Take, some guys take that uh, that. That that issue uh, to such an extreme where they actually marry a girl who's very annoying and a horrible, horrible person. Oh, that happens all the time. Yeah, and all then they the don't time. figure it out for like ten years. And I, well, they do figure it out, but they want. Oh, okay, they're blind. Okay. They they yeah. need to let everyone know that they actually hooked up with a, a hot girl and have the wedding and have everyone come stare at them next to the hot girl. It's I think like it's worth int- it to them. Almost. I think well, it's you know int- how you keep her quiet, right? Yeah, yeah. put your wiener yeah. in her mouth. I don't yeah. get it. I don't. I don't oh, really? get that. <laughs> I'm, I'm with girls he who talk He just plopped so. that baby right in her mouth. She's like, oh, I want to talk about my day, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, eat this mask or whatever that dessert treat mask. is. M-A-S-Q. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to get a haircut? All right. All right. God damn it. You and your haircut. Let's go. All right. We can wait. Marcus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're we're just seem like we're done. I wanted to talk more about uh, little taser ball because I want oh, to talk yeah, about yeah. the names. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's finish our taser ball. Finish taser ball. Uh, the names are. At haircut time. I'm just kidding. I'm off the goddamn side. Oh, no, no. I lost. No. I lost. How, wait, you just X'd out? Ultimate taser ball. Here it is. Okay. So here are the names of the... of the. Of oh, the I like the second one. The LA uh, Night Lights. That's the worst one, Mike. The no, f- the second one. The Philly Kilowatts. The Kilowatts. That's the that's worst a, no, one. No, that's a great name. Well, no, the uh, the, con- the the logo's not the Oh, the logo's horrible. The, I like the, Toronto, the name. Toronto Terror. And then the San Diego Spartans. Are yeah. you goddamn kidding me? They couldn't find it. How do they do it? Also, the home of the Padres. What, what if I just go with Chargers? Chargers, Chargers, Chargers was taken. Junior, right? <laughs> no, go with like the San Diego Sparkins. Yeah. The Sparkins. Oh, like the San Diego they Electric They should have been the Chargers. Or well, the Electric Company. <laughs> the Rechargers. <laughs> Ooh, the Rechargers. Oh, the Rechargers. What if the Chargers change their logo to just like a cell phone charger? Like Motorola bought them. It's just the, <laughs> the San Diego Chargers. <laughs> That's hey, if I haven't brought this up, I brought it up to Drew and he was unimpressed, so he can fuck off. Uh, well, Which Drew? Drew who? Yeah, just make up your own mind on that one, but uh, I was saying, hey, you know how you're not allowed to have any kind of sponsorship in the Olympics? Like, it's strictly forbidden. Sponsors would love to get in there, but you can't have sponsorship say, within the Olympics. Which, it, that's very hypocritical of them because every single thing is sponsored. Well, like the yeah, cars, everything people is drive, but nothing the on the actual field yeah. or the playing surface. Yeah. So here's my idea, and I think it's brilliant. Yeah. And we've got some Olympics coming up here, guys, in London. Uh, you can have this one on the house. Any you Olympians? You listen. think you're gonna like give them the juke? <laughs> and, like, what big Olympians? The, you want a little, a little extra, extra cash in your back pocket? Because I mean, these Olympians, they really give their life to them and to, to the sport. And a lot yep. of them, like, if you don't medal, your life, you just go back to the factory yep. or whatever. Here's what you do: if you know you're gonna play, you go back to your job where you ski and shoot at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate that sport. <laughs> a, God, they play that it's sport totally a lot. That, not a that's sport. That's hip- hypnotic, not though. You're sport. like, this is stupid. And then yeah. five minutes later, you're like, oh, no. dude, I he think missed it. it. He missed all. Oh, it the, seems to be Hans the most Bergensen fun. hit all five no, targets. That's the most fun sport in the Olympics you is you're skiing and you have a shotgun. You guys want to hear the idea? Yeah. Yeah. Here's what you do, Olympics. Tasers. If you know that you're good, you bring a taser. And no. Here's what you do. <laughs> you legally change your name to whatever sponsorship. Oh, and they have to constantly show and it. They have to and say Pepsi your name. Cola. They have to show it. Like, if you change your name I'm to I'm pretty sure you life, would not be allowed to perform yeah, in the Olympics. They're not going to. They can't do that. They can't do that. That's Dude, legally they, my did, name. they, like, didn't let some guy with a fake leg perform because they thought it'd yeah. be like, an, a, a, like, it would help him. His name's not going to help him. That's just his name. <laughs> hey, that's his name. And coming so in saying, third is Mask. <laughs> yeah, MSQE. So. Semen, fl- semen cover up. I think it's a good idea. You are Drew like both of you for not being impressed. Uh, watch somebody's gonna do it this year, and you guys are gonna try and uh, uh, get me money. Okay, it. I watched out. I, watched, did, I, did, should get, I should get a couple bucks from the guy whoever does it. Did right? Drew do this face? No, he, don't do that face. Here's the thing what? about it's funny. I've talked about this before. I brought it up. You know this to be true. You know this to be true. I don't know how Kyle and Rune know about this, but uh, I. Wait. I am a sucker for advertising, uh-huh. and I watched a terrible movie called The Best Movie Ever Sold. It's Morgan Spurlock, who's Palm. one of the most pretentious, pompous assholes ever. But he, yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's mediocre, but I shouldn't say that. Forget it. I take that, all that back. He made a movie called The Best Movie Ever Sold, and the whole point of the movie was corporate sponsorship right. for his film. Was that any good? Because I, I, no. I want to watch it. No, you know what? <laughs> Actually, you know what? It was my favorite movie of the year. <laughs> no. so what? what? The big, the nice biggest, use of the cough button, I know, sir. The biggest sponsor that he had was Palm, that... Pomegranate juice. I don't like pomegranates. I don't like pomegranate juice. After the movie is over, I walked across the street to the gas station to buy a pomegranate juice. I was like, <laughs> I have to get my hands on that pomegranate juice right now. And uh, they didn't have it. <laughs> so you freaked out. Yeah. No, but I, 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 I buy into that. I buy into all that stuff. Like when I first saw an ad for BMW that came out in like 89 or 90 uh-huh. and it said fat, equally b- weighted on all four tires and had the BMW on this scale and it was like mm-hmm. hanging there and I'm like, I know my car, the weight isn't equal on all four tires, and I just decided I have to go buy a BMW right now, and it stuck with me for months. So why didn't you get a BMW? I can totally see you in a BMW. You really? need to get one of those station wagon BMWs. Yeah, that's so. what I want. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. Why? Because it looks like a family car, and yeah, it's still going to be fun. <laughs> you should get the, 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 is it Audi or Volvo that looks like the Olympics rings? Audi. Yeah. My grandpa had one of those like mid-80s ones with the yeah. nice like vinyl leather. It was pretty yeah. sweet. I knew a guy who had a he had three different BMWs over a course of many years. Wow, you have rich friends. Everyone knows. His name's Drew. And he <laughs> was one of the gayest things I've ever heard anyone say. He comes in and goes, you know what? I was kind of new, uh, new BMW. And uh, you know what? It really is the ultimate driving experience. No matter what, <laughs> oh, which God. one it is, it, it really is the most ultimate experience in that brand. And and that, whether it's a, a 4x4 or a sports You're gay. coupe. gay. Not that, Drew. You're I gay. I have another... Rich friend. He does have nice cars. Not true. All right. So, let's haircut. <clears throat> Can we get a haircut? Let's get a haircut. Let's do it. First, let's start off like we were, uh, like at least how I get a haircut. Uh, Can I get a haircut? Yeah, now. I don't say it like that. <laughs> Anderson, put your two ears on. Hello there. How are you? Yes, yes. You are here for the virtual haircut? Yes, yes, okay. I will go get Luigi. He will come and cut your hair. Uh, I, I am Manuel. Just, just stay right there. Can you hear me? Uh, Luigi. Luigi. Uh, Luigi. It's Manuel here. Uh, the person is here for your virtual haircut. You better come up. It's the worst show we've ever done. But it's great if you have headphones. How long is this, by the way? It's coming up. A couple right minutes. And meanwhile, I will go over here. And play the music. Oh, there. It's called stereo. Yeah. This is more than stereo. Yeah, we'll it's binaural recording. Oh, that's cool. I'm into it. All right, turn the mics off. Ah, it's so nice to see you. Welcome to the Starkey Cetera Barbershop and your virtual haircut. I'd like to start the demonstration by moving over to your right hand side and I'm picking up at this bag. If you just hold still for a second, I'll put this bag over your head. Just like that. The bag over the top of the head. And now I'll take the bag off. There we go. The only reason I did that is because all of the fancy barbershops do that. What you're listening to as I move off to your right here and very quickly wash my hands. Manuel, can you get that, please? I hope one of you is high. Let me 
me for washing my hands here. Just uh, bear with me for a few more seconds. Ah, there we go. Ah, yes. As I was a saying, all we are doing is using your head. I thought that was a dragon. As the listening point. And we have two microphones, one on either side of the head, in the same position as where your left. Wait, it's turned into school time now. Right hey, I'll cut your hair in a second. What's going on? Why is he schooling me? You, you were asking right. questions like doing a minute all ago. of the work, telling you where the sounds are coming from. All right. Okay, I'll go get the, the scissors. It's like spilling out a science guy now. Just do your goddamn thing. Here come the scissors, bro. Now, as I begin a clipping, and I bring the clippers closer to your ear. Very closer to the right ear. Follow me as I move around the back of the head to the left ear. And up and over the top of the head. Is this offensive to bald people? Okay. PTSD. Now, you can get the same effect the better with the electric razor. I'll first bring it close to your right ear. All right. Is it perfect? The, the, the opening was, was the best part. And on your left. Why is he giving us a lesson now on, 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 on the audio, audio engineer? And why is he telling us what he's doing when, we, when we're experiencing yeah. it? Hey, shut up, Louis. He's Answer Italian. Hey, why is he not making a meatball sandwich? Why hey, is he I'm making it. Look, I'm putting the meatball on your right ear. Oh, hey, I'm putting my penis in your left ear. I keep forgetting oh. that the music I'm hearing over there is is in here. Now. That's good, Tyler. Okay, so I apologize. I just want to tell you once more. We, is there anything good that's going to happen? Uh, room, I'm peeing on your left side of your head. Of your brain. I, I was I was hoping there'd be some stabbing. You or know some what's interesting is how they rec- I, I understand danger. how they recorded this, but what's interesting is that it's coming over a stereo system and it still has the same effect. Mm-hmm. That's kind of fantastic. Holophonic binaural 3D recording technology made with lasers. Made with lasers. Mm-hmm. With a Z. Hear, I did not hear really? one laser. I did not hear. How one is this laser. made with lasers? Audio lasers. <laughs> There's been quadraphonic recordings in the 60s. Yeah, sixties lasers. Mm. Those were with the S's. <laughs> Those are the lasers you had to crank. Patrick, you have a question for Tyler. Go ahead. Hi, Patrick. I guess it's for Tyler. Uh, Mike seemed quite confused or concerned. I guess the other day about when he was awake. The, That's the, the, the video feed. Uh, like, are we going to film it on UStream or not? And he's always so concerned. And I was watching on my phone, and my feed kept cutting out, and I was like. Okay. But what are they going to do about the video feed? So. Dude, how are you from Seattle when you're surfing? He surfed up there, bro. He took like the <laughs> he took uh, the current. It's hard to I'm commute on a surf. I'm from Ohio. You're from Ohio. What? You I sound like one of the now. one of the turtles in Finding Nemo. <laughs> no, he sounds like a turtle, a ninja turtle. <laughs> yeah, those are those are reggae turtles, or Jamaican turtles. Not it the one. Didn't have anything to do with the lifelong pot smoking I did. Oh, oh you, you and Marcus, huh? You and Marcus lifelong. sparking up. <laughs> I love you guys. Man. I'm so happy Thanks. to talk to y'all. Was that trippy what you just heard? I actually couldn't tell it because you were on, he the, was phone, on the phone. Probably. <laughs> oh. I've been waiting on that whole like uh, headphone thing Tyler was talking about, and it's starting to sound like it through my headphones. Trippy, trippy. Yeah. So, ask can you walk what's around it? us in a circle right now? What's uh, in my own head, I guess. <laughs> what's, what's what's the question, Patrick? Uh, what are you guys doing about the video feed? Are you just keeping it with UStream, or I think you guys mentioned like Vimeo or some shit. No, I said that I'm a hipster to the point where I refuse to look at anything on YouTube ever again. I'm only Vimeo. I'm looking for another platform that's even more obscure. <laughs> well, E-bombs, be bro. Just be like, yeah, I don't do you. I'm trying E-bombs. to do that to Tyler because everyone's always sending you clips. So check this out on YouTube if you're just that guy like, nah, I don't, I don't do YouTube. I just don't do it. They're not yeah. vegan yeah. enough for me. You one bread yeah. and you're stuck for hours. I know, especially Tyler. He'll, he'll sit up for hours watching really lame things. Then he'll send them to me or make me look at them. I'm, I'm rarely impressed. What? Bron Tupisto. Bron Tupisto <laughs> was pretty <laughs> sweet. That's pretty good. And uh, whoever posted that 80s karate one, video the on our Facebook phones, page. Kyle. Kyle comes in here and goes, which, which mic am I going to be on? It's like, you're the, what's going on? <laughs> after, after the uh, 90s rave music, I, was, I, was, I had that shit stuck in my head for a week. It's good stuff. Yeah, go back and listen to that episode. I've heard good things. <laughs> All right, Patrick. Thank you. Way, being able to see you guys. On video is awesome. We will figure out how to continue to bring that to you. We're going to do one um, a month, I think, and we're going to try and do some kind of um, topless girl while we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, Just to get our numbers bouncy, up. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. That's the best way to get our numbers up. If we have a topless girl in here, I'm serious. People tune in. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. And then they I didn't find know that we ever uh, were concerned with getting our numbers up. Well, 
We're we, concerned about getting our members up, right, bro? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, Talking about the, dicks. Where play. the rim shot is in there, Tyler, because you need to play it for yourself often. Uh, thanks, Patrick, for the call, man. Thanks, Keep smoking the kind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Disappointed! Uh, it's not. The drum roll. Uh, he's going to be, Kyle's going to be on three. Don't give a fuck. On three. All right, Kyle, you're on three. Do you have anything good to say? All right, he's done. Turn the mic off. Hey, <laughs> Kyle. Uh, other Kyle in St. Louis, you're on. Oh, hey, cool. What's up, buddy? Oh, not so much. Hey, Kyle. I'm just kidding. Why does everyone from the Midwest have a server Ooh. accent? What's Ooh. happening I don't know, tonight? but uh, do you Whoa, guys think, uh, what do you think is better? St. Um, Louis barbecue or Kansas City barbecue? Hawaiian barbecue. Uh, Hawaiian I'm not barbecue a fan sucks. of barbecue, uh, but I would have to say I, I'm a uh, bigger fan of St. Louis. Uh, you're a little because, biased there, Kyle. Well, I know I'm a little biased, but I just the the uh, the Kansas City is just like it's too tangy for me. I just, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm I'm all about Korean barbecue. So you got a comment about Mike's store pitch? I have no idea what that means, but go ahead. Oh, he, he, I was just had a comment about uh, Mike's uh, coolest store slash psychopathic. Have life. you been there? And basically, I just you just need to. Uh, Get a geologist to go with you to the store. I know, but that and, would be uh, rude. Don't you think it's gonna be kind of rude? No, he's, he treats the store like a museum, and uh, why not uh, treat it like it is by bringing an expert? Sir, I need to carbon date that uh, Stegosaurus. Would you yeah. please oh, take that off the wall? Start taking samples. Comes with, the, with <laughs> a don't, microscope. Don't announce, don't announce that you're bringing in the uh, geologist. You know, just just have a just have a guy with you. Hey, guess like, what oh, you're not allowed to do in this store, by the way. And see what he thinks. Take a while. Guess what's uh, speak Spanish. Uh, sign on every single thing. <laughs> do not touch. Do not touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> But not not you, even like the one finger thing that your no, mom he, would let you do when you're a kid. Here's the, here's the thing: is okay. Are my, we getting to the point where we're gonna have to put "do not touch" uh, stickers on our kids? Are we getting to that yeah, point? Do not molest for like pedophiles. <laughs> like ten years from now, please don't anally rape my son. Ten years from now, we're gonna have <laughs> please no cookies, kids please yeah, no cookies. Actually, that, you know what? Cookies. If I was a parent right now, not a five year old kid, I think I would immediately make a shirt that says "do not touch" and put it on that kid because yeah. that would be hilarious. The, I would uh, like to that see. kid would get touched more than anybody. Give him like a hard hat with a webcam on it. The so I'm in the hat. store. My, my parents, when I was a little kid, they put a, uh, Andy in the back of my shirt, and I had no idea, and people were saying hi to me all day, and it was the weirdest fucking thing. I remember I was like five years old. I'm like, wow. Got like a little celebrity complex. And they're like, hey, Andy, how are you? I was really into it, too. Like, Here's the thing the guy's going to do to you guys if you go there. And you, I, I really talking about the store that you, you don't should know the go name there. Of, right? I go, how are we going to go there? I go, what is that? And he goes, you ever held a meteor before? And I, oh, I, I hold that my hand. And he throws we'll it into grass. He drops it into my hands over the glass showcase. The thing probably weighed 10 pounds. I'll give you something meteor to and hold. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, really? My dick. Meteor than what? Than the hot dog. It's <laughs> a lot of meat. Thanks for the reference point. That's a lot of meat. Because <laughs> one hot dog does it for me. Well, I'm not talking about like a jumbo dog. Let's be fair. I really wanted something meatier, Kyle. So I'm Kyle, sorry, for, Kyle. It's a good idea, but I don't know. I get that all the time. I don't know if it's important Kyle. enough to anyone um, or Mike to to figure out if those bones are real to take a scientist. What there. I'm saying is, I want well, you guys. To, I want all of us to pitch in. Like if I if, if I we was, all pitch in seven hundred dollars, we can buy a meteor. So it's like six people talking. My uncle, and he's like a geologist genius or whatever. Where where does uh, said uncle live? He's a genealogist. No, no, he's a geologist. Kyle, where does where does your geologist uncle live? Uh, a, right now, I think he's living in Texas. That'd be a problem. He works for Shell. No, I know. The store is in Santa Monica. If I'm ever in LA yeah. with him, I would want to go to this store. Oh, I see. He you could should. tell me absolutely everything about everything in that store. Well, it's Mike, gonna be, what city it's is it? It's going to be a showdown between your uncle and the guy who owns the store. Let me tell you. <laughs> he said a lot of. That's it. That was the store. That was it. It's called World's Best Nature Store. I don't think so. That's it. That's the worst name ever. That's it's also it. a terrible website. All that stuff is real. He claims. You know what? Actually, I take that back. He said he doesn't have a website. He goes, I don't sell on the web because all my stuff is this real is and it's it. guaranteed. That's not it. But what's the address on that store? Uh, someone rewound the tape to 30 they seconds have a ago. Going, That's it. Skull too. <laughs> now, there's two people. That's that, not have a, a, that was a Triceratops. That was a oh, Triceratops. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's the name of it? He doesn't have. This guy told me he doesn't sell online. Okay, you're talking about Ooh, you're like doing, you're like walking sell around. sell online. I, I was telling the listeners that what the guy said you city don't, is don't it sell in? online. Santa Monte Ca. Oh. 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 I buy an order of my fossils in Santa Monte Kyle, Monica. thanks for your call, buddy. Yeah, no problem. What'd you say it is, Triceratops? The Codo Fish Fossil. <laughs> now, see, now I'm suspicious because this guy's got a giant full-size Triceratops uh, skull in his window, and that, that website has a Triceratops as well. Well, 
Yeah, they're out there, Mike. It's not like there's one in the world. I've never seen one. (laughs) Really? I've never seen one. You've never been to a museum? No. Mm. You ever seen that at the museum? No. Neither have I. Yeah, I haven't either. Did they come out saying that Triceratops actually didn't have a third horn? It was like a... Yeah. It was just like a dildo they attached for sex? Okay. Yeah. Giles. Yeah, they attached yeah. it. They caved in, even Welcome. though they weren't around at the same time. Welcome to pool them. <laughs> oh, you're not going to like this at all, uh, uh, Michael. Oh, really? Toronto, we have six calls up. Not a single female. Oh, great. What's going yeah, on with that? I apologize just cancel the show. Female. It's all right, Giles. I thought you were the closest thing because your name. What's up, Jalez? Um, well, uh, just want to say uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the changes in the show. I think it's better. Hmm. And... Uh, um, I'm totally cover, covering. That's like saying I'm looking forward to my car guys, breaking down. Uh, yeah, Mike doesn't interrupt anymore, which is awesome. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Josh. Crazy. I have to watch that. You have to watch what? Taserball. Oh, Taserball. Yeah. Uh, he lives in, lives in Toronto. Toronto. So I could definitely cover the Toronto team for you guys. Got it. You're in. They have the best logo. Please. I think it's a guy being electrocuted. It looks like scanners. Uh, thank you to whatever the listener, whoever the listener was that uh, tweeted me that. Because, Giles, uh, what is with your creepy Facebook you picture? Is you with like an elephant nose? How do you know who Giles uh, looks like? <laughs> He's all it's, over Facebook. Uh, it's sort of a tribute to a band from Toronto. Their album covers are them with elephant noses. So what I band is it? Did that in paint. What band? It's the or... elephant noses. Tyler, yes. pipe it. It's Death from Above, 1979. Yeah, I think really? I remember that. Yeah. 79, anyway. a good year in Pittsburgh. Yeah. All right, thanks, Giles. Thanks good a lot. year for, for bitches, words. right, guys? Remember 79? Yeah. There's some good bitches. Thanks for the words uh, of Good year. It, did you hear that someone dropped a giant uh, pile of Butterfingers chocolate bars in Boston after the Super Bowl? No. <laughs> Get it? Because they're Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple balls. There. I like that scene of Boogie Nights when it's I did not hear that. It's funny, though. Where they're like, all that Coke? The 80s are only an hour away, and they're all talking about the 80s coming around the corner. Thanks, Giles. All right, no problem. Oh, like AD? Yeah. Yeah, there's something there. We <laughs> <laughs> just got to fish it out. Hey, Brian, you're on the, uh, the program. Welcome to the program. Hey. You're on the program. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm fantastico. How about them penguins, Callan? Yeah. Sweet penguins. But we're not going to talk about penguins. What do they do? Um, they ate a lot of fish and made okay. people happy at oh, SeaWorld. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They do make me uh, happy at SeaWorld. You know what I like about little... them the best is they're in a glass cage. You don't have to smell them. This is kind of a funny little story, actually. Logan, <laughs> producer of the Film Vault, had me stay after last night after we uh, did uh, Film Vault. Because <laughs> you got in trouble? Had a, he had a, uh, a little class project that <laughs> he, he wrote had to your do. name on the board and made you stay after. He had a little <laughs> class project that he had to do, and he wanted me to, uh, it was like an audio project. So he, wanted, he asked, asked a bunch of questions, and he had to like clean up the pops. You want to get pops in the, mm. uh, your auto, audio recording, you have pops. The pop reducer. Mm-hmm. So he's like, May, uh, first question is like, talk about a place you uh, lived growing up and uh, the kind of, or kind of animal you like. I, I'm like, a I penis lived in- for about 1.2 seconds before my dad ejaculated into my mother. <laughs> That's where you, your favorite place growing up was? No, you said it was somewhere you lived. Okay. And so I was just saying, like, penguins Little and popping the walls. penguins in the Palisades. And then, like, halfway through, I was like, there's 14 questions. And was on the seventh one, he's like, um, you're doing a lot of popping. I'm like, yeah, I know. Everything I'm saying is, like, with pops. He's like, yeah, the... the, the whole- Gotta have my pops, bro. He, he's like, no, I, the whole idea of the, <laughs> the project is for you, uh, for me not to have any pops at all. <laughs> oh, you thought you had, he had to yeah. remove them. So I'm like, everything that I'm answering is with pebbles and pops. Why and pop. don't you want me on your recordings? Okay. I'm sorry, that, was, that went did, nowhere. Didn't he have to go through and fix that? Yeah, I don't know. Did I you don't tell know. him to throw a little friggin' windscreen up in front of the microphone that takes away all those pops? Tom Arnold was in here tonight. And, oh, uh, yeah? We had him do a liner for a, uh, um, a show called Meta. Mm-hmm. It's a station. It's a station on the internet. And uh, there's a little piece of paper in here, and all it says is Meta. <laughs> Tom Arnold that's, wrote that's, Meta. That's pretty meta. An entire piece of paper. Meta. Just the word meta. Should we auction this off? If you look closer, he actually wrote meta inside meta. He actually wrote meta with an A. Meta. Because he didn't know what it was. Okay. Well, you're supposed to write it with an A. Does Not he really. know about that fossil story? M-E-T-A. Thing? Hey, Brian. Yeah? Hey. You, got, you got a question there for Ty Ty? No, I was uh, calling in. I finally wrote a review for him. He's been asking forever. A review and, uh, for him. On iTunes. Not for me. On it's, iTunes. Yeah. People, please uh, help us out on iTunes. Give us some reviews on there, especially now that we're, uh, you know, we're 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 going out into the mainstream land. We got to talk about yeah, the I mean, graphs. Well. I, f- I figured, you know, if you guys are going out, you know, not getting as much publicity, anything I could do. Compared to now, when we're can we get doing Banksy the, to like start putting shows? up some posters of us? That'd be sweet. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Banksy about a half a block from me. Really. Mm-hmm. So is it a teddy, Wells a Fargo? Uh, ah, yes. damn it! Yeah. I was just yeah. about to go That's there. Right. Hey Brian, what what was your uh, what was your review? Was I, it glowing? I, I could pull it up. He likens us to Star Wars characters. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I compared you guys to uh, 
to a new hope because it's you know I, I know episode one is technically coming out again today, but I already bought my right. tickets. Ugh. I already bought my uh, tickets. tickets already. Can you fathom yeah. sitting through that movie again? Fathom. Phantom. Can you phantom sitting through that movie again? <laughs> well, that movie was terrible, Never and uh, I'm not a fan again. of 3D, so it's got to be even worse. Now. You guys, we can all better. agree it ruins the Jar Jar Binks of After Disaster. Oh. <laughs> So <laughs> mean when he's doing so much work for us. Roan, fuck Tyler. I know, I'm and, on and your he has to stay buddy. after when we're done to pull something from the. I gotta <laughs> stay after too. Rin, if if one of us was Mexican, they'd be the Han Cholo. Rim sorry, shot. I said that now. <laughs> <laughs> is there somebody else on the phone with you? Got nothing. Ryan? No, no, this is me. All right. Sounds like right. on, on the phone. All right, Brian, thanks for uh, your review, man. Hey, uh, no problem. All right. He oh, called man, me I'm Luke right. Skywalker because I'm like important to the story, but kind of annoying. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he's kind of important to the story. He's the most important. I asked, and the I whole asked film. him. I asked him who Manslaughter Kevin was, and he said uh, Jabba the Hutt because he does terrible, terrible things. And he doesn't like women very much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he likes to chain them up and have them by his feet. Yeah, it's, it's like that'd be like saying I don't like dogs much because I always have Stanley at my feet what? on a leash. That's not even like close. Yeah, yeah your feet on a chair. Dead on. It's dead on. All right. Uh, uh, we should also thank Katie for doing our second after disaster parent review. Yes, that was very funny. I've not yeah. seen it. It's yeah. It's, it's um. Katie from awesome. Santa Barbara, Katie. Mm-hmm. Katie in love it's, with Toronto, Katie. It's, it's awesome. Her but mom I say, listened. It's a uh, negative. It's <laughs> a, her mom I don't actually like likes the show quite a bit. No, she didn't on the video. I'm gonna watch. Where can you find that video? Uh, I don't know. The internet. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, if you go to youtube.com slash after disaster podcast is one of our favorite why don't, videos on why don't there. We put it on the after disaster.com. Well, because Scott by Scott needs to get on that. Scott by Scott, let's get on it. Get on, a, why get on it. There's also a direct link at lemonparty.org. <laughs> or can I don't party. Think that's, that's, a, that's a direct link to my heart. Nick G, you're on the program. How are you? What's going on, Anderson? Hey, how are you, Nick? Pretty good. I, I enjoyed your new video, man. I, I really dug it. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah, man. Um, I have options to talk about, man. We can talk about. First of all, I want the lady. Wait, before you do that, I want to do an impression of me when you call up. <laughs> say, uh, I I, say, I'm a big fan of you guys. I want. I have a question for Mike. Hold on, Nick. 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 Hold wait, on. Wait. Hold wait. Nick, what Nick. is happening? What's up? <laughs> what is this? What is masterpiece Nick, theater? Nick, hold I just on. Had my head. I, I, Corona wants you to do something. For just him. go. Hey, I just want to say I'm a big fan. I really have a question for Mike. Hey, I'm a really big fan. I have a question for Mike. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a visual joke. Yeah, he's doing visual jokes. Guys, I don't just know put on he- just put on headphones and you'll get it. I don't know why I would allow him to go back and do all that when I knew that it was probably going to be a visual <laughs> joke. But we are in the stream, so what Mike was doing was being disinterested until he heard his name, and then he became very interested because Nick, stream of consciousness. Nick, Ooh. Mike is um, <clears throat> a bit of a uh, narcissist, but so are all of us. I think that I might be more of a narcissist than Mike even. Talking about that the other day, how I was created, became a narcissist because my dad was so goddamn insane, like where he would constantly watch every single thing I did, what? And I'd comment on it, and and like to the point where like he was he'd, he'd talk about how I walk and I don't walk normal, and my and arms it, don't it's swing been enough. A thought in your, it's in your head all the and time. And then and then yeah, so all like until like sophomore year in high school, I I had this like walking complex, and I thought everyone else was also watching the way I walk. Yeah, it was just one crazy, crazy. fucker that was. You know where I'm me. not narcissist is when I get my hair cut. You, I don't look in the mirror at all. You have to be a narcissist to convince yourself that you know you can be entertaining for an hour and forty minutes and have people want to listen to it. But you guys are right. In your case, you're right. So. Oh, but well, right. thank you, Nick. But yeah, what, not even so much. A lot of people could do an hour and a half, or hour and forty minutes, and be entertaining. But they have a plan. That's where our narcissism comes in. Is hey, guys, we're going to do this. And we're going to be good. But yep. no fucking plan. Yep. No plan at all. Uh, it's, like, sh- it's like I come in one night and hand out four clarinets. None of us have ever played one before. Like, uh, Here I can, we go. I, I used to play the clarinet. So. Let's do that next Did week. Did you really? <laughs> do that with recorders. I, I think, think I might leader. have it at my parents' house. I, I, can, see the band. I can see you practicing. Right. Dude, I was first clarinet, bro. You're ba- Tyler was you're also the first chair in the, the Skin Flute Symphony. Mm, that was rude. Play the, play the, <laughs> I don't, I don't play appreciate that. Play the rim shot. Hey, Mike, did you ever talk about I Can Deal With Blood? Did you finish that ever? That was it. That's a, did, okay. When you're yeah. in your haircut, which she's got that. She's got. A, she's got an accent. She's from from Romania. And she Why just did goes, she talk uh, about blood? I'm I want Romania. to cut her, her hair. She just goes. I'm not afraid of a little blood. <laughs> was that, that was that a pickup line? That's yeah. what I thought. I was a vampire, stuff, like a Dracula the thing for, at first, Terran. but uh, I don't think it was. That's she was what very, she, she said. Right as uh, right as he entered her. Did you check her crotch before you left? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so Maybe no. she was leaning against my hey, shoulder, and there's some blood, period blood on my shoulder. I think that's probably what happened. <laughs> I was going to ask, have you guys heard of Pitcarn? No. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It's Pit an Karn. island. You know the mutiny on the bounty? You yes. Know that story? Yes. Love that movie, by the Captain way. Captain Blythe. Awesome. Right. Yep. Okay, he's, got so the chai, he's got the Tai Chi balls the Love whole time. that guy. Yeah. Chai Chai balls. Hilarious. It's a Me great too. movie. That movie holds up. That's and, part of the reason why I got those little balls. 
But do you guys know like the continued story of everything that happened after that? I wish. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a TV show like Lost, right? Sorta, of, sorta. Of, except it's really, it's really fucked up. Like the descendants of the people, the mutiny on the bounty people, are like beautiful. People. Right now, they all live on this island. There's, I don't know how many people. Maybe thirty. We're talking about the Humphrey Bogart movie, right? Cannon. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. What was the last thing? We're talking yeah, about that yeah. same movie, right? The Kane yeah, Mutiny? Yeah, but it, it, no, Mutiny on the Bounty. I mean, I, you, Mutiny on the Bounty. I always get those two confused, too. Yeah. So, so the guys, the descendants of the Mutiny on the Bounty people still live on this island, and, you know, it's very, they try to be self-sufficient. They, they get it, wait, I forgot it, how that movie story, ended. Is it a story that's, that's, that's created by the same guy that originally created, wrote uh, Mutiny on the Bounty? No, the, the Mutiny on the Bounty, um, the, when, when they were cast off, is this real? Oh, it's a real yeah, story, yeah, right? Yeah. That story actually happened. How dumb I am. I real? Know. Yeah, I'm just going story. to the movie. I'm like, Humphrey Bogart? <laughs> no, that, that... It wasn't Humphrey Bogart. You're thinking of that came mutiny. Yeah. Mutiny of the Bounty is 1935. And, and they stayed and they populated this island. They, they just him. stayed there. And now, uh, apparently, there's these crazy people. Like, there's 30 people left on the island. It's inbred and all this. So oh, it's like Mississippi? Wait, oh, this is awesome. In real life? <laughs> Yes, yeah, you got to check it it's out. It's Mississippi There's with beaches. Story where How did you I learn about it? Molestation charges cool. going on on this island, and like in the 50s. There where is the a island? Guy with a monkey who came and visited the island. It's insane. Oh, you one have of those to check monkeys. It out. Wikipedia is going to be raped with Pitcairn uh, it, it should logons to name. Oh, where is this um, advisory I can go and visit? Pitcairn Island. You don't want to. Yeah, it's P-I-T-C-A-I-R-N. Kind of looks beautiful. A-I-R-N. Wait, is that oh, a picture of it down there with the palm tree? Crazy That's not it. Story. I hate that standard island picture. Guys, it looks like it's paradise. Guys, let's do a show. <laughs> let's do it, man. <laughs> uh, when we get back from Hawaii, we'll go to this island. We'll stop over. It'll be like it's those old crazy. 40s movies where the plane flies, yeah. and they'll yeah. stop in Pitcairn, and, but then we'll never leave because we get inbred with them. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds painful. All what right. if we all start banging the same tricks trying to make like ultimate podcasters from, uh, from you're not our bringing, You're not bringing your wife? <laughs> All right, so the in Florida, podcasters in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, what is an ultimate podcast? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be like take any actually good moments of this show from 114 episodes oh, and man. splice them together without interruptions, and maybe that maybe that'd be ultimate podcast. Nick, I feel like you got more. Too. And there'd be yeah. tasers. Do involved. you have anything else? I feel like you um, came strong. Well, I mean, I, I basically that was the main thing I want to talk about. Also, Nick's, Nick's calling from Mississippi. English rap porn video on the on the Facebook earlier today, and I thought that was. Interesting, at the very least. Uh, Where did you see this on? On which which Facebook this was, page? This was on the AD's Facebook page. Some guy was like, "Hey, this is this is music videos now," and it was an English rapper like having sex with a blonde chick while he was rapping. That was the entire, and it got it got whacked fairly soon. But uh, <laughs> I that happened. was he rapped down there? Um, he was. He actually was. That's I was, good. I was That's gotta be practice safe rapping. Folks. One of the most tiring video shoots of all time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we got to get that again. Fit uh, twenty minute break. <laughs> was he actually humping? Yeah. Absolutely. While rapping? Did he did he do the business at the end? Did he give her the business? You know what I don't like about this is he's from he's English, so he seems he would seem like he has a little bit polite. more uh, yeah yeah couth, have more couth <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. Nick, is there a phone ringing in your room? God damn it! God damn it! I needed oh, yes. to ask Nick if he was black, and he hung up. Nick is not Nick is black. black. He was black. No, he's not. You've seen Nick. That's the parent review guy. You yeah. lost a thousand pounds listening to our show. Damn it. Keep Nick. jogging, joggers. I was really hoping it was Guys, guys, forget everything Kyle. you know. Swartwood. I'm gonna forget Kyle. Swartwood. Swartwood? Swartwood. Yeah. Swart something. Swartwood. Yeah. So welcome. Enjoy I thank you very much for doing the uh, the calls yeah. against Kyle. Th- thanks for having me in, guys. I really appreciate it. It's the last time you'll ever be in here, but I appreciate <laughs> you coming in tonight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for bringing the cookies. I'm gonna go have one right now because oh, you brought ended. cookies, really? Uh, they've been altered. Yeah. You would you would need altered. Oh, uh, there's you cinnamon cookies. I miramonted them. <laughs> Where's he? Anderson, what? Where He's going? gonna go get cookies. Know. You know what I had at this? Uh, I at, at the Super Bowl party. They were called bacon crackers. It was basically bacon and butter, uh, a cracker ba- butter wrapped in bacon and then baked, and uh, it was unbelievable. Did you die after eating that? Did someone resuscitate you? I can't explain it, but it was so the crunchy saltiness with the butter and the bacon. Is it true you can get a bacon shake at Jack in the Box right yeah, now? Yeah, it's not real bacon though. It's just bacon flavored oil that yeah. they drop in there. That sounds. But awful. yes, it's true. Yeah, I'd probably get it. The uh, bacon eater. The 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 one that sounds best to me. I tried the chocolate covered bacon. Whatever. It's not. It doesn't. What about the bacon covered bacon? Bacon mm. covered bacon is good. Yeah. Bacon wrapped bacon. 
Yeah. Yep. But the bacon uh, wrapped Kevin Bacon. <laughs> that candy coating that's on on candy apples, that red crunchy cinnamon stuff that I find to be one of the most delicious treats of all time, especially when it's coated. No, in delicious caramel's apple. way better than that. No, caramel's red. good, but the red stuff's good. But somebody, there's a comic who makes bacon with that that candy stuff, what? and he bakes it so it's got the cinnamon candy shell over bacon. He's a and comic. I oh, I thought it was on an apple. I'd do the bacon apple bacon thing. Bacon apple would be good, right? Yeah, because there's apple bacon. Yeah, <laughs> is there bacon apple? I don't know. There is now. Maybe we could grow like a bacon tree with an apple tree, and then they would make. I don't know. Uh, when I was a kid, I saw a picture of two hu- pigs humping, and it said "making bacon." I thought it was the funniest thing of all time, <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. That's on your. Like, that's that's on your greatest hits. That's the pinnacle. That's the <laughs> done. That's, that's done. the high point of comedy. Nothing's ever going to be funnier <laughs> than that. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. I'm going to start talking again. I'm sorry. I was reading about Pitcairn, which is fucking awesome. Pitcairn is my favorite thing that I've learned about in a while. Can't wait to learn more about Look it. Look at how spooky the island is from afar. Honey, guess where we're going for our honeymoon? Yeah. Hey, what, a, what about Richard Karn? Pitcairn. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's uh, about that's Kim, the guy from Tim Karns. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's a uh, Allison family feud, hey, too. So you guys, very funny. What if we okay. were on an right. island, like our private no one's island? I was talking at all, so I decided to take the reins, and now everyone's talking. <laughs> What's Fantastic. your big, your, the biggest fear besides Being sharks? stuck on an island with you. Sharks that can walk is pirates, right? Mm-hmm. No. Course. Yes, everyone's scared of pirates. Like we, if we, if the three of us were on, a, no offense. I think a shark with a burka would <laughs> be much more of us, too, Mike. <laughs> if the three of us were on an island mm-hmm. and we lived there, mm-hmm. and we thought we're on, even though we're shipwrecked, but we're in, we're in paradise, basically. Who gets we're mouth raped first? Eating coconuts, mm-hmm. uh, first one to pass out. <laughs> but the, um, <laughs> all of a sudden one day we see a ship come pulling up. Mm-hmm. Are we going to run and hide, or are we going to embrace them as our ca- our saviors? That's going to be me in the ship. Telling you to fuck off for not including <laughs> me in the island. Wow. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle wants to be on the island with us. I have bad news for you. You died in the FedEx plane. Um, no, we are going to go ask for the ship to carry us away from the godforsaken island. <laughs> but what island. if they're pirates? Do we like the after disaster that much that we're like, this is heaven! <laughs> the after disaster, not goddamn stop! It's late at night and we're all sleeping by the fire and then Mike comes over and whispers here. Time to make the ultimate podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we have no recording equipment. I've chosen you. And Anderson and I, we're all delusional from being in the sun for years and not having proper nutrition. So we're constantly asking you when it's going to be uploaded. <laughs> You're like, Anderson's just randomly going, Marcus, you smoke weed? And I'm like <laughs> pressing shells, trying to make drops play. Hey, Marcus, be honest though. Do you smoke weed? Pressing shells. Just big coconuts on the beach. You've redesigned the entire board out of. Coconuts and uh, I'd be like the professor who trees. can like make radios yeah. but can't yeah. get them off the damn island. Yeah. I'd make I'd waste all that time to make a drop machine, <laughs> and it would just have this. Yep. And that sweet glass breaking. David sound. Burns, yeah. listener David Burns, sent me uh, the funniest tweet I've gotten in quite some time, and it just said it started off with "Yup," and it was sent to you, Tyler, as well. And then there was a there was a link, and the link is a woman's a ninety four year old woman's body was found inside a storage. Locker in Tampa Bay, I believe, or Recently? somewhere in Florida. Yeah, so I gotta watch there. it, man. And it, no, it's not on the show. <laughs> 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 it's a news story, but it was so funny that he connected the storage wars to that new to that news story. It was very, very funny. That's a good story. That's the wow, wars, right? factor right there. I couldn't stop laughing when I read that. You that guys got to lug that factor. body around from corner to corner. Well What's done. this worth? The thing that sucks is if there's really cool shit in there, you don't get it. If there's like a body in it, yeah. That you just you know, is that really all cool? That stuff. Is that really really that cool? Do you get to keep? No, I'm not saying the body's cool. I'm saying there might be like good they, stuff in there. All right, real quick, before they lug about... it away, you pull out your Bowie knife and carve out the vagina, right? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? <Michael. laughs> the the <knife>. Hell! <laughs> Whose vagina are you carving out? The dead lady. The David Bowie knife. She was 94. She's been in there 17 it. years. You keep it. You Make keep your own fleshlight kit. It. Yeah, that's right. And you hump the 94 <laughs> the year old kit. No, you're not going to hump it. You're keeping that. It's the Why are you auguring out the vagina with the Bowie knife? Guys, it's the century bang. It's the vaunted sex century uh, bang. Oh yeah, it's better than the Mile High Club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if what if the what if the opening to a vagina was like a magical? God, we talk about the opening of the vagina is way too often. But like, what if it was like this weird like <laughs> love it. T- time space continuum vortex thing where like your penis was traveling through time? Wait, I guess your body would be aware of it too. Then. Is it going inside an, 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 a woman from the past? When it I don't know. Like, what if it was? Uh, Give me some uh, past ass. Ass. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to justify our longing to be in there. Some chick in the 1800s um, just like, oh god, under her petticoats. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at Mike's thinking about it. He's like, no, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's like a, it. it's like an arch on Indian land, and you cross. Well, like, under what if there were wormholes that just kind of? That's what I mean. <laughs> you get sucked up, in, and your penis up. comes back. More with, like sperm holes. Oh, hey. 
You know, that would be, that would be weird if uh, that would be a good movie premise where you're having sex with somebody and your penis gets sucked into a vagina and your penis goes back in time. And there's very few clues. Because since is there a, I, I feel like there's a porn out there, Back to the Future porn, where this with something like this would happen. This would be very clever. And people, a people Dr. Goo. Yeah. Where his, he tra- you tra- travels through time banging. And you actually impregnate your mom. It's just like <laughs> you impregnate your mom by going into the vagina and actually hitch your mom. And then you the make the ultimate podcaster. Yeah, and then you become yourself again. And then you're always interrupting yourself, but at the same time saying the exact same thing, so it just sounds like in stereo. No, like you, you like a banjo appears <laughs> in your... <laughs> 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 like instantly I, uh, disappears like in your head. Like that idea that I had, if you could go back in time and molest yourself, and as you're molesting yourself with each stroke, uh, you become like more of a fucked up person. Like more tattoos appear on your body, teeth start missing. Just like you know, like the thing if you affect the past, right, like right. your present self changes. Yeah. So if you would you end up with a snake tattooed on your arm? <laughs> snake would definitely. Yeah. Callers calling about your teeth. Listen, uh, I want to talk about corporate fox for a second. All right. All and right, Bill poli- Burr. Their corporate policy is. Goddamn ridiculous. All right. All this shit that I went through to rent this house, which I decided to tell the guy to fuck off today because uh, he tried to up the price on me. But three days of background checking, and they went over my goddamn um, um, application. And Jillian's like piece by piece by piece by piece. It was re- like nothing I had ever seen. They needed to ask uh, my current Archstone, who I, who I live with. They're all nice in the office, but they have the corporate line about everything. And they mm-hmm. had to ask, the new people had to ask Archstone three questions. What, what, do, what do I pay and how long have I lived there for? And have I ever been late on payment? They answer the first two, but they refuse to answer the third one. I have never Why? been late. Never. I'm early. So I'm at work and she's uh, the, uh, the, the new lady is like saying, I can't get them to answer the third question. They won't answer it. They say it's a privacy policy. So I'm calling Archstone. I'm like, just tell her it's a what? You won't tell her? Why won't you tell her? Well, it's, uh, it's a corporate uh, policy. It's our, it's our policy not to um, uh, give certain information away because that's private. I'm like, but if it's good, just tell them. Just <laughs> yeah. say no. So why don't you, you're why getting arch boned. Why don't you uh, record that phone call? Uh, so, no, that's, that's their policy. They, and I, st- I went into the office after work, and I'm like, why wouldn't you <laughs> do that? And I, I said, it's the same thing because the guy's name is Celso. I'm like, Celso. And he's the guy that works. Celso? He works in the, uh, in the office. I'm like, I love his hey. work. He's so fizzy. That'd be like, that'd be like me, uh, people asking me, hey, is Celso a nice guy? And I'd be like, uh, I, I can't do to his privacy. I'm not going to tell you yep. if he is or not. Yep. If you're nice, I'll tell people. And, uh, and I'm not going to feel bad about your goddamn privacy. If you rape children and come on their cookies, I, I won't tell you. Tell why, people why, you're not going to say anything? You're one of the you're I'm a one problem. of the guys that will not turn into You're the cover up. up. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> like yeah, one of the. Like, that's the worst quote that's ever been said on the show. I'm one of the guys that will not turn in Sandusky. <laughs> one of the worst human name beings of the on the show. face of the that's planet. That's the name of tonight's show. That's <laughs> uh, absolutely untrue. I hope they don't attribute that to me, that quote. I thrive. I thrive on uh, confrontation. I heard, I'm not so going to go into this in great definitely. detail, but I will tell you, I was forced to witness the 15th phone call that Miranda made to Citibank to get a problem straightened out that was completely straightened out 14 calls earlier. And the, the part I heard was, uh, no, I've already explained this to 14 other people before you in the last three days. And no, if you hang up, I'm calling you right back. No, no, unacceptable. Let me talk to your boss. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to your boss. On and on and on. Uh, okay, really, you don't have a phone. Really. Citibank, you don't have a phone. Oh, give me your email address. Really? You don't have an email? You don't have a personal email. Okay. So uh, a major bank, Who's Citibank, the, um, Miranda, talking. Miranda talking. She's like, so more, like, of, more like crappy bank. None of you have email. None of you have telephones. That's Get amazing you that you guys have a shitty business. Bank. And it was infuriating me listening to her have to reiterate the same bullshit story because they <laughs> charged her an extra $650 and wouldn't give her her money back. And it just kept going. And they kept passing her on. And then she'd go. And then, uh, okay, it takes 72 hours for you to receive my fax. Well, I faxed it four times this morning. Uh, so why does it take 72 hours? Really? You can't walk in the next room in the next 72 hours and get the facts early. You can't no, do it right policy. now. It's, it's their policy. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, a, it's Every person at Citibank she spoke to, 15 people said, we don't have phone The fax machine numbers. is three days away. They just have a we human chain. They pass it down the line. We don't have phones. We don't have email addresses. Listen to this one. Washington Mutual, which so is no F longer off, you existing. piece of shit they bank, They charged me $39 because they thought that I was overdrawn. This is years ago. I was not overdrawn. And I went in there and I showed them the paperwork to prove that I was not overdrawn. They're like, yes, that was our error. And I said, okay, well, uh, when, when's the $39 going to be put back in my account? And they said, oh, well, it won't be. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And they said, we have a strict policy that if we ever charge anyone, we never, ever reverse it, even if it's our fault. I'm like, what kind of a policy is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What kind of a policy is that? How is, I well, have a it's policy. It's a good one if you're the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. hope she follows through on what she, 
Because she said she's going to pull all of her money out of Citibank, and she's got a lot of money in Citibank. She should. She's, she's got a lot should. on policy. She like she's got like two G son. She's got more money. How they charge her six fifty? She's got enough she was... money in the bank to pay cash for a very expensive house. All right, I don't know why you'd be uh, <laughs> in Pitcairn Island. Why, to be fair, why is he like? No, but um, the point is, she, she doesn't have like ten or twenty. They, or are they called pit carnies? Pit carnies. Pit carnies. They just do a carnival nonstop. Take that money out of that fucking piece of shit bank. Jillian, we're going to Pitcairn for our honeymoon. I thought you were gonna be single tomorrow. Prepare. Don't bring your Citibank card because they they can't do it. Don't ever say you. prepare like that again. I like to go to, We should all go to that island. Family vacation. I want to go to that. Fuck Hawaii. Pick corn. Here we go. Hell yeah. We can go to Hawaii. That's our new like motto of our show. Island. Fuck Hawaii. No, just kidding. Yeah, we want to go. That's, that's yeah, we, we totally want to go. Pit corn, though. Pit corn's a, a, a close second, I, I'd say. Yeah. What do we do, though? Where is it? It's in pit corn. It's in the ocean. It's surrounded by water. Oh, it's in the ocean. Whoa. Fuck me. <laughs> it looks that island looks very treacherous and scary. <laughs> that yeah, looks, looks like looks treacherous like and worrisome. It's it's surrounded by cliffs. Apparently. On October 29th, 2004, Cliff four men were convicted of multiple sex offenses and received jail sentences of up to 6 years. Two others were sentenced to community service. Jay Warren, the island's magistrate, was found innocent. The appeals of all four men, I didn't even read what the charges were. God damn it, I suck. Some of the charges, oh my god. In recent years, however, a sexual abuse scandal has cast a deep shadow over the island. Accounts of the victimization of women and youngs and young girls. Oh, Mike. On Pick Car <laughs> on Pick Karen Pick Karen Let's go now. Began, <laughs> <laughs> began servicing in nineteen ninety nine. Seven men, more than half the adult male more than half the adult male population of the island were charged with ninety six accounts half, of abuse. Half yeah, but charged by which government? Including rape and in Britain. Pit including Carney. rape and sexual assault. Some of the charges dated back for decades, subject to Britain law. The accused faced trial in October two thousand four and I already told And they were drawn and quartered. <laughs> How did they uh, find out about it? Yeah. Yeah. Did someone swim? Like, did someone away? find a bottle that said help? Speaking I mean, of molested? swimming in islands, I have to look it up and find out. I'll bring in a crazy island t- a tribe story that's really tight. It involves swimming through shark infested waters to grab an egg. You know what they do on Pick Iron to, to grab a what? To make an egg. Is it a game? It's like, or kind a sport? of. I don't know. It's Thanks, awesome. Mike. If it's real, if someone wasn't lying to me, that could have they could have been lying. Well, I don't know and why you're doing the Mike Carano thing, which is uh, talk about things that we're not talking about. When are we going to post the video of your dad from eighteen seventy? We're not going to. Mm. Um, we're never going to do that. My dad is a why? nice young man. You know what they do to make money? Pick Karen. They make stamps. They make postage. Weird. Really? That's weird. That That's all weird. they do. That's their industry. Yep. It's like it's like so. Uh, it must not be stamps and rape. How come it's New New Zealand dollars if it's under British law? New Zealand's under British law. Oh, really? No, it's not. It absolutely is. What? It is? It don't, they have no. the, uh, they have the uh, British flag. Yeah, that's flag. like tradition. They're not that's under tradition. British rule. That's a tradition. They're a, that'd, they're be like, a, that'd be like if the Nazis won World War II and uh, we still have the American flag. And they're like, yeah, that's, they, it's, it's just their tradition that the Americans have the American flag. If they owned us, they would be the Nazi flag. Up. They're proud of their heritage, but they're a, they're a sovereign nation. All right, let's go. Good night, everybody. Sounds like a nation of rapists. No, I'm talking about New Zealand. Yeah, I thought, that's that's still a nation of rapists. Show, that's too, yeah. Yeah, How rape? often is that child molestation going to come up on our show and we do it there? <laughs> we, have, we have another guest. Guess what he's been convicted of again. <laughs> what, if they're, what if they're kind of short over there and the whole time Mike's like, is that a kid? Pick Karen. I got to see these people. I've not seen one picture of a Pick Karen. Karener, but I must see them. A pit Karener. I, I bet that they, I bet like they have an ultimate taser ball. Hey, <laughs> how are people going to find us after this? Theafterdisaster.com. Uh, do iTunes. You, Nothing's going to change if you listen to us on iTunes. Or, uh, or if you right. stream us on, or if you get us on Stitcher, right? Everything's yeah, same. that's all good. Uh, <laughs> do be aware, though, that we may have to make a new Facebook page, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, but but I'd like to also uh, say I thank quit. you guys very much for uh, taking the time to listen to us live all this time. Yeah, thanks, everybody. And I and I predict that we will, we will lose one listener who's like, <laughs> nothing to do with Loveline? Fuck them! His name's going to be Mike Carano. That's Dr. Drew. (laughs) 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 Really? I'm out of here. I push my microphone over. (laughs) I got my my suitcase with the Pit Karen stickers on it and head off. (laughs) 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 Or whoever. Good night. Good night.